Boop that like button if you love cookies. In this video. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh. I'm popular. I got an invitation to someone's birthday. Well, it's gonna be so amazing. What is this? It's not an actual invitation. Well, I mean, it is, but it's not to someone's birthday. It says I want an all-exclusive trip with all girls on a yacht. What? I want a vacation? I wonder who the other girls are. I gotta call Molly. Come on, Molly, pick up, pick up. I know I normally text you, but I have to talk to you on the phone right now. Hello? Why are you texting me? Did somebody have to go to the emergency room? What? No, it's me, Brookie. I know, Brookie. I'm asking you, why are you calling me? Nobody calls anymore. That's so old school. Because I just had to he hear your response to this. I just won a free trip on a yacht with an all-girls trip. Wait, what? How did you win that? Did you call the radio station? No, it came in my it came in my mailbox. You should go check your mailbox too. Okay, hold on. I'm I'm heading out there right now. Holy guacamole! There's something weird in my mailbox. Well, Molly, what is it? The suspense is killing me. I got an invitation too on a yacht. We leave tomorrow morning, and so didn't Daisy. OMG, we're going on a girls trip. Who do you think signed us up for this reward? I don't know. Who cares? Oh, let's not even question it. Let's pack our bags because we're going to the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. Time for some fun in the sun. Hey, Daisy, over here. Where's Molly? It's so early. The sun is even up yet. She hasn't teleported in yet. Wow, cute sailor outfit. Yeah, I'd never been on a boat like this before. I've been on a cruise, but not a yacht, so I was just trying to dress the part. I need to look cute no matter what. Well, come on, let's get aboard. Should we wait for Marley? Nah, she'll be here soon enough. Wow, this is the most luxurious yacht I have ever seen. Wow, I can't believe we won this all girls vacation. This is amazing. I know, right? Ugh, I hope Molly gets here soon. Me too. Here comes Molly. Why is she running over? My teleport button is broken on my phone. Ugh, Roblox glitches. I had to run all the way here at the crack of dawn. They better have Starbucks. Sorry, there's no Starbucks. Molly, what are you wearing? I'm going fishing on this trip. I'm going to catch me a whale. <laughs> That'll be a whale of a tail. I don't think anybody's ever caught a whale with a fishing pole. Yeah, Molly, it looks like the fish will be, well, reeling you into the ocean. <laughs> Stapleton, bring my bags. Where's Stapleton? Bit of a butler on this yacht. Who invited you? What do you mean, who invited me? Oh, no, so I got an invitation to this August yacht trip. OMG. I don't know if this is going to be such a great vacation after all. Come on, guys. It'll be fun. Sarah can be friendly, right, Sarah? Not a chance. Ugh, I have a good internet signal. Ugh, well, since we're in port, I still do. Hey, everybody. It's me, and you're on my Snapchat, and I just wanted to say 
I'm going on this amazing yacht vacation and you should be jealous because my life is so much better than you. Okay, bye. <laughs> you know, Sarah, that's kind of rude. Don't even try to get through to her. Whoa, I think the boat's moving. Is it? Wait, where's the captain? I don't know, maybe this thing is automated or something. Molly, I don't know if you should be driving it. Well, somebody's got to. I mean, it's moving. Well, we got invited on this. There should be some uh -oh. sort of captain, shouldn't there be? Hello, this is your captain. I am down below the decks right now, making a last minute repair. The automated system is on. Everything will be fine. Welcome to your all girls cruise. Thank you. Oh my God, this is so exciting. I hope I see lots of whales and dolphins and stuff. I bet we will. I bet there's so many things to see when you get to the Bahamas. Wow. We're out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> oh, guys, you left me behind. Wait. Uh-oh. Woman overboard. Woman overboard. O-M-G. Uh, 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 I just want to get back on the boat. Uh. Okay. Whew. That was scary. Maybe next time, don't jump up and around like that, Pookie. You don't want to get left and behind so that you're shock bait. Yeah, duh. Obviously, you've never been on a yacht before. Oh, no, none of us have. I have been. My daddy took me on a yacht last summer. Of course he did. Time to chill and get some sunshine. I like to call it vitamin C. I like to say, see you later. You're so annoying. Sarah, we are stuck on this yacht vacation together. We should probably make the best of it. Okay, I am. By telling you, go away. You smell. What smell? Like sunblock and an annoying person. Hey guys, let's go do some fishing. I bet this is a great spot. Hmm, look at that huge volcano over there. That's amazing. Yeah, we should do some fishing now before the sun goes down. Looks like the yacht's parked here for the night. Ah, uh, no, Molly, I'm just gonna chill here in the sun. No fishing for me. Well, I'm gonna jump off this diving board into the ocean. Daisy, be careful, there might be a shark that could eat you. Oh, whatever, Molly. I'm an expert swimmer. See you later. Actually, that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> here I come, cannonball. <laughs> wow. The water feels amazing. It's so crystal clear and blue. This is gonna be the best girl's vacation ever. Guys, I think I caught one. Whoa, it's a big one. It's a big one. Can't fight it, can't fight it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Told you, Molly, the fish was definitely gonna win. Oh, that whale got away. <laughs> they usually do, Molly. They are a lot bigger than you are. Well, guys, it's getting kind of late. Let's go into bed. Yeah, if I could ugh, get back onto the boat. Okay, there we go. Yo ho, all hands. What was that sound? Ugh, Molly must be it. Talking in her sleep again. Actually 
just went into the center of the earth. Um, this isn't good, Captain. Ha 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 ha. Um, guys, that didn't sound too promising. Hold on, guys. The boat is going down. I'm gonna try to get us over to that island. Ha 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 ha. Who was that? I think it was the captain, but I'm not sure. He didn't sound like he was, um, alive. He sounded pretty dead to me. Ah! Who just crashed the boat? Where's the captain? Um, I think the captain might be the undead. Yeah, he definitely is. <laughs> and, um, I was the one that got us onto this island, so thank me, Sarah, because we were just on the boat with some crazy dead pirate guy. Ooh, what? <laughs> You're being ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as being trapped on a deserted island wearing this bunny pajama outfit. Oh my god. They're gonna find my skeleton someday and I'm gonna be wearing this bunny outfit. Oh, the horror. Don't worry, I think you'll look adorable. Aww. Like a pink nightmare. Let's see if we have any signal here. Really? Do you think they'll rescue us? Well, no, but we could definitely make a Snapchat about it. What? Who cares about Snapchat? We, we need to get off of this island and, and report there's a dead pirate that's trying to terrorize us. Oh, yeah. I'm sure the police will believe that one. I've got to go find a bathroom. Uh, Sarah, we're on a deserted island. They're not going to have, like, a bathroom. Maybe an outhouse. I don't think they're even going to have that. Uh, what are we going to do, guys? What are we going to do? Well, I guess we're going to have to build some shelter. And then um, try to catch some fish for food. Don't leave Molly in charge of that. What? I almost caught that whale. <laughs> oh, man. It's getting dark already. Wow. Um, I think we should make a fire. Good. I'll go get sticks. No, I want to get the sticks. We can all get the sticks. Let's just stop arguing. Um, does anybody else notice that the boat seems to be driving away? How? I crashed the boat. Well, it is. Yo. <laughs> Yo ho, all hands. <laughs> did that dead? That did the dead pirate just drive away with a boat? Uh oh. Sure it was a dead pirate or a dead captain pirate? I don't know, but. He did. Um, we're stranded on this island. We have no phone signal. Well, my mom's gonna wonder where I am eventually, right? Um, I don't know. How much do you annoy her? Well, a little bit, but she's still gonna miss me. Yeah, she'll call 911. Don't worry, Bookie. And don't worry. We'll get off this island before you die in that bunny suit. I hope so. I really hope so. <laughs> today totally la 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 Molly you are so loud in the morning I swear I just woke up and you're like blah 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 yeah that's what you sound like all day with me blah 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 do your homework don't fart in class Molly why you gotta be such an annoying sister I'm going over here to eat my breakfast girls could there just be one morning before school where you get along no, probably not. Yeah, if Daisy could stop being so annoying. Ugh, girls. Hey, Mom, I know what would make us in a great mood. Okay, Molly, what is it? Anything at this point. Um, wait, what's this for breakfast? Ah, I dropped it on the floor. Oh, Mom, can you make me something else? I just dropped my food on the floor. Ugh, Molly. Yes, okay. Um, I was wondering, Mom, could we have a sleepover? I don't know, Molly. You got detention this week. No, but I did my homework last night. Molly, did you really? You're wearing a shirt that says, I don't like homework. Um, I mostly did it. 
Okay, <laughs> now I have my food. Didn't it look like I was flying across the room? Oh! <laughs> There's my food from earlier. I could eat it like a dog. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah. Molly, get in your chair and eat like a normal human being, please. Uh, no promise. Anyway, when just because my shirt says I don't like homework, doesn't mean I didn't do it. Collection, we didn't have any homework last night. Exactly. So I technically didn't not do my homework. Ay, ay, ay. I'm taking out the trash. Well, Mom, can we please have a sleepover, please? Whoa, you're actually on my side about this, Daisy? Yes, I am. It's a sleepover. Okay, a small sleepover. One or two friends. Yay! Okay, Mom, I'm taking this to go, okay? All right, have a great day. Thanks, Mom. Brookie, look! We got to school at the same exact time. <gasps> Whoa, crazy. It's like we're BFFs or something. <laughs> I just teleported here because, you know, Roblox and stuff. Whoa, wouldn't it be cool if you could teleport to school in real life? And also maybe teleport out of school when you didn't do your homework. Or you just really want to go to Starbucks and get something delicious. Uh, okay, Molly, whatever you say. No, for real. If you could teleport in real life, it'd be so cool. Right now, I want to teleport to McDonald's and have a Big Mac. And then I want to teleport to the water park. Uh, Molly, you're not in real life. You're in Roblox. Yeah, well, at least I can teleport here. Molly, maybe you should teleport your school books into your locker since it's completely empty. Um, I may have forgotten my books at home. Whoopsie! Oh, great, Molly. Don't tell me you're going to get detention again. I hope not because my mom said I could have a sleepover. And she said we could only invite like one or two people. And guess what, Bricky? You're on the list. Really? I am? Yeah, you're my BFF. Who else are we going to invite? I don't know. You get to invite one more person. Who are you going to invite in besides me? I don't know. Definitely won't be sealed with a bully. I got an invite to a sleepover. What are we going to do? we going to eat popcorn? Are we going to watch scary movies? Ah! Check and check. Whoa, the bell. Come on, we don't want to be late. Well, if you forgot all your books, you kind of want to be late because you don't want to get in trouble. Language class. I'm terrible at this. Good morning, everybody. Bonjour. Bonjour, teacher. Did everyone do their French homework last night? Um, but, but you said we didn't have homework. Just kidding. Molly, I'd like you to say a sentence in French, please. Uh -oh. Stand up in front of the class. Okay, um. Je suis un zapper. <laughs> Molly! Okay, no laughing at the class, please. I mean, class, no laughing at the student, please. I mean, you know what I mean. Wow, you can speak French, but your English is not that great right now. Well, okay, you're just making me feel frazzled. Don't tease each other, please, Molly. Try the sentence again, please. Okay, I thought I made it pretty clear. Je suis un sapeur. Molly, you just said I am remote control. <laughs> well, I might be part robot. You never know. Oh, boy. Okay, Molly, take a seat, please. We have a new student coming today, and I want everybody to be polite. She doesn't have any friends here yet, and she could use some. Her old school had a bit of a crazy thing happen, and the school got shut down. The school shut down? Are you serious? Wow. Why'd she come here, then? If my school shut down, I wouldn't go to a new one. I'd be like, hallelujah, school is shut down. Best day ever. Molly, you may take your seat now. No, I'm serious. I'd be like, what? Do you want me to try to say that in French? Kwa! 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 Wow. Congratulations! You learned how to say one word in French. Uh, I guess I'm getting through to you somehow. Yeah! <laughs> I guess so. I'm going to do awesome on the test. Mm, uh, here's hoping, Molly. Wait a minute! We had a test? I don't know about a test. What's she talking? Oh, Daisy, don't freak out. There's no test. I'm just saying, when there is a test, I'm going to do well on it. <sighs> yeah, I don't think so, Molly. Would you like me to say that in French? Um, no. Vous avez a chewy. What? Exactly, Molly. Oh, there's the new student now. Hi, Emily. Welcome to our school. Um, uh, hi. Whoa, she doesn't look too happy. Maybe if I'm friends with her, she'll be happy again. Hey, Emily, you can sit by me. My name is Molly. Um, 
Okay, thanks. So, Emily, uh, you sad about moving to a new school? I'm just sad around people these days. What? Sad around people? Yeah. Something really terrible happened at my last school. <gasps> Did? Um... Is everyone okay? No. No one is okay. Except for me. I don't know how it even happened. But I have a guess. Um... I'm sorry something so terrible happened at your school. Um... Hey! Uh, my sister Daisy and I are really cool, nice people, and... We're having a sleepover at our house tonight. Would you like to come? Really? You want me to come to your sleepover? Um, yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? I'll, um, text you my address. No, I, I don't have an iPhone. Don't text me. You could just send me a note. What? If we get caught in school with notes? <laughs> no passing is an immediate detention. Okay, well, you can just tell it to me at lunch and I'll write it in my notebook. Wow, harsh. Her parents didn't even get her a phone. Haha, <laughs> man. Parents these days. <laughs> We did pick up friends who could heal. This is getting boring. I don't know, but they said they'd be here soon. So, you know, chill out. Molly, I don't know how to be chill. I like to do things. I don't like being a couch potato like you. Ow. And look who it is. Brookie. Hey, Brookie. Oh, and Emily, too. Come on in, girls. Let the party start. Molly, are you going to make us popcorn and pizza? And are we going to watch scary movies? Ah! Yes, yes, and yes. I will go get the pizza now. It's cooking in the oven. Holy cheesy pizza, does that smell good. Oh, that's making my stomach growl. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this pizza. I'm waiting like one piggy waits for another. Molly, you should wait for our friends. They should get the first piece. But I'm hungry. Molly, don't be rude to our guests. Wow, this pizza is so good. Yay, Emily's smiling. I'm so glad to see you're happy right now, Emily. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, I don't know, a little scared that the same thing might happen in my new town as my old school town. What, nah? I don't know what happened there. You can talk to us about it if you want, or you don't have to, but we're cool. Everything's going to be fine here in this new town. You just wait and see. Yeah, Emily, we're so excited that you're a part of our school. Yeah, exactly. I have to snap this. What? Why do you have Snapchat open? Close that right now! I didn't say that I would be on Snapchat. Close it! What? Um, th 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 but, uh, but everybody uses Snapchat. Uh, not I. I! I don't use Snapchat. Close it right now! Whoa, Emily. What's up with the attitude? That's not very nice. My sister just wanted to take a Snapchat of this really nice sleepover with you. I, 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 I don't think I can stay at this sleepover. Wait, what? No, Emily, what's wrong? Tell us what happened. Yeah, come on, tell us what happened, because you're being kind of rude, and I thought you were going to be a good friend, but now I'm not sure what's going on with you. Molly, I'm sure she has a good explanation. Okay, you guys are going to think this is crazy. But everybody in my school started disappearing one by one. And when they came back, they weren't the same. Weird, crazy, strange things happened around my school. Strange things? Yeah, some people, they never returned. Some people came back. And it was like they were possessed. Evil. Like, like something was making them into a living puppet. <gasps> What? That can't be right. And what does a phone have to do with that? I just noticed that it would happen after someone put up a Snapchat. Ah, boring prank. Sounds like the oldest one in the book to me. What? I'm not pranking you. Yeah, boring. Oh, let's go watch the Scream movie. That's much scarier. I'm not pranking you. You have to believe me. Why do you think we moved to this town? Molly, I don't think she's kidding around. Sorry, I thought you were pranking me, Emily. I'm not pranking you. I'm telling you, you guys should never use Snapchat again. So this is why you don't have an iPhone. You're afraid of Snapchat? No, my parents are really old school. I never had a phone, which is probably why I'm the only one that didn't go crazy at my school. <laughs> Whoa, makes sense. Well, um, how do you know this is absolutely true, though? 
because Snapchat was the only thing that everyone had in common. Well, I say there's only one way to find out. Molly, put that phone away. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh-oh. Yeah, Molly. Well, then, I think we should draw straws. Whoever gets the shortest straw has to test this concept by using Snapchat. I don't know if this is a good idea, Molly. Well, do you want to know if what happened to your classmates or not? We have to get to the bottom of it. Does everybody have their drink straw? Let me drink the strawberry shake first. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, who has the shortest straw? Oh, no. I have the shortest straw. I have to test the concept. Ah, uh, I'm sure it's just nothing. I wouldn't say it's nothing. If you went to my own school, old school, you wouldn't have thought it was nothing. Well, come on, let's make a Snapchat. No, I'm not gonna be in it. This thing might spread, and, and, and I don't wanna be possessed. Okay, Daisy, well, you're on your own. Good luck with the demons. Ow! What? Okay, fine. I'll go into the bathroom and I'll Snapchat fail. Nobody wants to hear you <laughs> fart, Daisy. I, I'm not gonna take a Snapchat of me farting, cheapos. Molly, do you think that this is real? Well, Emily says it is. Guys, you need to believe me, it's real. Okay, Emily, we believe you, but we still wanna test it, okay? Because maybe it was just a coincidence. Your sister's never gonna be the same uh -oh. after this. It was nice knowing you, Daisy. I don't know what the fuss was all about. Oh, ah! she's gonna be crazy. I'm not crazy, nothing bad even happened. Check your snaps. Okay, um, Daisy, you seem pretty normal. Let's go into stories and see. Oh, why can't I use my Snapchat right now? I don't know what's wrong with me. Not working. Weird. Okay, here we go. Daisy, I don't, I don't see anything. Wait. What's that behind Daisy? What? What do you mean? What's behind me? Guys, look at your snaps. Something really weird is happening. I don't have a phone, so I can't see, and I'm glad about it. I don't want to see anything. I see it, and, and it looks like there's some sort of creepy puppet behind Daisy. What? No, that's not. I took that snap myself, and there was nothing there. Um, Daisy, are you pranking us? No, I'm not pranking you. Go look at the bathroom. There's no creepy puppet in there. <laughs> She's right, guys. There's nothing in here. Well, then where did this creepy puppet thing come from in your snap? I don't know, but I'm going to test this theory and see if it shows up on my Snapchat. That's such a bad idea, guys. Please. I can't lose my new friends, too. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I'm just going to go out here in the garage and take a snap. I'm sure nothing's even happening right now. La, 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 la. Hmm. I see absolutely nothing. Hey, everybody, I'm just taking this snap because um, my new friend Emily said that if you use Snapchat, it basically possesses you. And I just, I want to say that I think it's a myth because I don't see anything on my snap. And, but Daisy saw something on hers and I don't know, it was, might have just been a glitch or something. So I'm sending this to everybody so they can see nothing is there. There, I sent it, guys. Ah! Take a look at your snaps. Um, Molly, this is it good. The puppet is behind you, too. Ah! Yeah, Molly, I see it on my screen, too. Huh? What? Let me see that. Oh, my God. This is about to happen to me again. You guys are going to disappear, and then, and then you're going to turn evil. I just know it. Emily, it's going to be fine. I'm sure that there's just some sort of explanation for this. No one's gonna disappear. Molly? Daisy just disappeared. What? D Daisy? Where'd she go? She vanished right in front of my eyes. Molly, that means you have less than 10 minutes until you vanish. Uh-oh. That's about the time between your Snapchats. Oh, um, gee. There's nothing you can do about it, Molly. You made a Snapchat. And the puppet is coming for you. <gasps> the puppet? Now this creepy thing has a name? Well, it shows up as a puppet. I never knew that before. Whoa, I, I, 
Why'd you let us do this? Why? I tried to stop you, but you wouldn't listen. Oh my god. I'm gonna disappear, and then I'm gonna come back evil. Don't worry, Molly. I'm your best friend. I'm gonna try to figure this out. I, I hope. Well, what do I do for ten minutes? I know. I gotta have a snack, because if I'm gonna be evil, I might not remember what it tastes like to eat something delicious. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake. Milkshake. Gotta put it in my tummy before I disappear. Molly, only you would be disappearing in like five minutes and you'd be eating food before you disappear. Well, I mean, priorities. Oh my God, Molly disappeared. Uh, I tried to warn you guys this was going to happen, but the puppet, he came for both of them. But she was my best friend. Yeah, but you didn't make a snap. So maybe we can figure this out together. I hope so, Emily. I really hope so. Hello, Emily. Nice to see you. Um, ah, oh, it's the Snapchat puppet, Emily. What are we gonna do? Maybe we could talk sense into her. It is still Daisy, right? I don't know. I don't like this, Emily. I don't like this at all. You shouldn't like it because I'm the Snapchat puppet. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know what to do. My best friend is going to show up as a Snapchat puppet next. <laughs> Why are you crying, little baby? Now come with me, Emily. You're what we want. What? Why me? Why me? Because you got away from the last school, but you won't escape now. Now, look at Snapchat puppet. Where am I? I don't know where I am! <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare. Am I in math class? What's going on? This is where you'll live forever with me, the Snapchat puppet. Wait, what? You brought me to math class? Oh, God. This is really the worst. What do you want from me? You will be one of me. A Snapchat puppet that will rule the world. Um, well, um, that sounds boring. Mm. Mm. What are you doing? I'm eating a cookie there, Ignoramus. What's it look like I'm doing? Why are you eating a cookie? I'm about to possess you. Aren't you scared? Um, not really. Because I'm just not. Not really scared of much, actually. Except for living without cookies. But since there's cookies in this crazy nightmare place, I'm good. What? No, you have to be afraid in order for me to possess you. Well, good luck with that. Hmm. You're not that scary. You're like a Snapchat puppet or something? Like, what is that even? Are you making fun of me? W what? Um, well, if you're going to bring me to math class and try to bully me, then I'm pretty much going to be like... <laughs> Did you just fart? Um, yeah, I did. Mostly because I think this is so ridiculously stinky. Now let me out of here right now. No, you will be a Snapchat puppet, whether you like it or not. Now be afraid. Okay, Mr. Snapchat puppet, let me tell you something. I've been playing Roblox for a real long time. I've faced Chucky. I faced, uh, let's see, almost every Abby ever created. I escaped Evil Granny. Ooh, she was a creepy one. Uh oh. Piggy, Siren Head. Would you like me to go on? What? I'm the evilest one of them all on Roblox. <laughs> Not even close. Have you seen our Bloody Mary video? <laughs> Still gives me chills. You guys should watch that one if you haven't seen it. Anyway, back to this evil Snapchat puppet. I'm not afraid of you. Now, how do we get out of here? You can't. Actually, I just opened the door. Uh -oh. This isn't even an alternate dimension. It's just at my school. You're a lame bad guy. Bye. Ow. Emily, Brookie. Oh, my God. Daisy? <gasps> oh, Molly. Please, don't try to hurt us. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Wait. What? Emily, stop crying. Why is she normal? I don't like that. Um, Daisy, enough with this Snapchat puppet thing. Oh my gosh, she wants me. It's the only way to make the Snapchat puppet go away and to give me your sister back. 
Wait, what? No, I'll just offer her a cookie. She loves these. Daisy, here, eat this cookie. I don't think so, little girl. <laughs> I've got your sister. Now give me Emily or else. What's so great about Emily? She has powers to <laughs> see the future. Seriously? Is that true, Emily? Well, um, maybe a little. Well, you didn't mention that. It's okay. I'll go with the Snapchat puppet. No, we're not doing that. Yes, you are. Say goodbye to your friend Emily. She already agreed. Wait, what? Emily? Snapchat puppet, you bring back our new friend. Here's your lame sister. Ha 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 ha. What a nerd. She just kept thinking about science this entire time. Daisy? Daisy, say something. I love science. I love it. What, what happened? Daisy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. But what happened? The Snapchat puppet. It possessed you. I can't believe this. Where? Where's Emily? I don't know. Oh my god. I don't even know what to do. Wait a minute. I do. Molly, why do you not like your phone by now? This is such a bad idea. Because I have a feeling that Emily's gonna be stuck inside Snapchat. I don't see her, Molly. Where is she? I don't see her weevil. She's she's not gonna show up on Snapchat. Guys, the puppet, he's got me. No, there she is, she's on our Snapchat. Emily, just try to resist. Don't give in to the Snapchat puppet. It's no use. I'm one with him now. I'm one with the Snapchat puppet forever. I see. Make sure you boop that like button for a delicious cookie. Do my eyes deceive me? Molly, what are you doing? I'm vacuuming. What does it look like? It looks like you're doing chores. And I want to know who are you? Because you're definitely not my sister. Why are you vacuuming? Um, because mom said if I vacuumed, I could have Brookie over for a sleepover. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and I really want to sleep over, so I'm cleaning up. OMG, a sleepover sounds like so much fun. And I can see you're really wanting to have one because you're actually doing chores. Yep, and I'm almost finished, so I'm going to call Bricky and see if she wants to come over. It's ringing! Of course it is, Molly. It's her phone. <laughs> um, okay, she just answered. Hey, Molly, what's up? Hey, Bricky. Um, so I was just wondering, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. I'm just kind of bored. What about you? Mom said they could come over for a sleepover if you want. Seriously? Um, yeah, but I'm starving. So do you have lots of food in your house? Um, let me go look in the refrigerator and see what we have. What? We have no food. Mom didn't go to the grocery store yet. Uh, yeah, Molly, I'm going to make a pass on that um, sleepover then. What? No, Brookie! We get DoorDash. All right, now you're speaking my language. Uh, what time do you want me to come over? Like, um, now? Molly, she still has to pack her suitcase and stuff. Yeah, Molly, I totally have to pack my suitcase, but then I'll come over. Uh, what should we door dash? I don't know, Chinese, pizza, um, what are you, what are you feeling? Do you, do you want some tacos? Ooh, tacos, that sounds delicious. Except for when Molly eats bean burritos, it's a bad sleepover for, for everybody. <coughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Molly. Okay, Molly, well, I'll see you soon, okay? Okay, bye, Brookie! Yes! She's coming for the sleepover. I'm so excited! Yeah, this is gonna be a really good time. Wait a minute. Who said you were invited to the sleepover? <gasps> Wait, what? I, I live here! Of course I'm invited! You said that you didn't want tacos. And I love tacos. Uh, Molly, Brookie's not gonna stay for very long if you're farting at the sleepover. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe we should order a pizza then. Whoa, creepy. The Roomba just went off all by itself and I didn't even tell it to. I swear, our Roomba is totally possessed. Okay, I just got to pack my hair dryer. 
my hairspray. Um, I should probably make a list. I'm gonna need tons of stuff. I wonder if Molly also wants me to like bring some popcorn because she said she didn't have any at her house and I really want to eat popcorn if we're gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna text her right now and see if she wants me to bring it. I'm all set to go. I'm so excited for this sleepover. It's gonna be so much fun. Molly, she's still here, right? Oh yeah, she's just getting into pajamas for this party. She said she wanted to get comfy cozy. The queen of the sleepover has arrived. Um, hey Molly, uh, are you wearing pajama bottoms with potatoes on them? <laughs> They're happy potatoes because they didn't turn into french fries, get it? <laughs> Molly, you're so funny. Um, yeah, that joke was kind of crazy. <laughs> Yeah, it was hilarious, though. You just don't have a sense of humor. So, Brookie, what do you want to do first? Yeah, wait, I don't have a sense of humor. I'm hilarious, Molly. Um, well, first, I think you two sisters should stop fighting. This, that's not a very fun sleepover. Okay, sorry, Brookie, don't go home. We're really bored, and we don't want you to leave. Yeah, Brookie, we've been really excited that you're coming over. I really love your potato pajamas. They're adorable, Molly. Thanks, Brookie. So what game should we play first, or should we door dash or something? Uh, yeah, let's play a game and then door dash. All right, Brookie, uh, you can just take your suitcase and put it in the laundry room. That way you don't have to, like, carry it all the way up the stairs right now. You can just stick it in there. Oh, oh, sorry, Molly, you didn't mean to run into you. Ow, you wheeled over my foot with your suitcase. Ah, call the paramedics. Wee, wee, wee. Oh, my God, are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm just fine. I'm being ridiculous right now, but I'm just trying to be funny. Oh, first you were laughing about the pajamas and making a joke about french fries and stuff, and now you're just pranking me. Ah, oh, Molly, you're just, well, Molly. Yeah, I couldn't be anybody else even if I tried. I wish you would sometimes, Molly, be just a little less, well, Molly. Not a chance. I am me and I am awesome. All right, I have a perfect game. Everybody come in and sit down. So, Molly, what game are we going to play? Truth. Or dare. Oh no, this never ends well. Okay, um, I'm gonna go first since I thought of it. Brookie, truth or dare? Um, um, I'm so nervous. I don't know what to pick. Okay, truth. Okay, all right, here we go. This question has been in my mind for like two weeks now. Do you remember when there was somebody who farted in gym class? Uh oh. Uh, yeah. And everyone just blamed it on the sewer from the toilet. But I'm pretty sure it was you, Brookie. So my question is, did you fart in gym class? Um, uh, uh. Don't look at your phone like you're trying to avoid it. Answer the question. I, um, uh. Well, you have to answer when you're playing Truth or Dare. Maybe I should just go home. You you can't just, like, get out of truth or dare by doing going home. You, you have to just, like, you have to answer. Okay, yes! I farted in gym right in front of the boy I had a crush on, and it was so embarrassing. There, are you happy with the truth? Very happy. <laughs> I knew it. Okay, now I get to ask somebody. Um, Daisy, truth or dare? I don't like this game. Daisy! Okay, I pick... Um, dare. All right, I dare you to look super ugly on Snapchat. <gasps> what? That's the worst deal ever for fashion you did like me. Uh, Daisy, you have to do it. You picked dare. Fight. <laughs> Good one, Brookie. Can't wait to see this Snapchat come in. I can't believe I'm about to send this Snapchat. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. It's going to be funny. Yeah, totally. Truth or Dare is one of my favorite games ever. Here it is. <laughs> Daisy, what's going on with your hair? Well, I teased it up a little bit. What are you wearing? 
something from your closet. What? No, you're not. <laughs> I am, Marley. You wear all sorts of ugly stuff. Ooh. Um, no. Look at my adorable unicorn sweatshirt. Are you guys going to fight this entire sleepover? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, who's hungry? Because I am. I'm so hungry. I'm going to door dash right now. I've never seen anybody so excited about door dash than you, Molly. I know. I love door dash. Makes me want to jump in the air. So, Molly, what did you order? Um, I was super hungry, and you should never order DoorDash when you're starving. Uh, so I ordered, like, one of everything. One of everything? One of everything what? Tacos, Chinese food, pizza, you name it. Pretty much all of it's going to be delivered. OMG, Molly! Well, I guess we're going to have full tummies when we finish out our sleepover. Finish our sleepover? Oh, no. We're getting to the best part. After we eat our food, it's time creepy stories. Oh, uh, Molly, I'm not so sure about that. Yes. Creepy stories! We're doing it! Uh, is this the house? Uh, no, I don't think that's it. Wait, wait. Why doesn't anybody put their addresses on their mailbox? Ugh! I can never find out what address I'm actually going to. Okay, yeah, I, okay, I think this is actually the driveway. Alright. Molly, are you just gonna sit there or are you gonna come back for truth or dare? Um, I door dash, so I'm waiting for my door dash. Um, Molly, you can sit in here. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, the ring camera just went off. Okay, they're here with our food. Hi, door dash delivering, like, all the food in the entire Roblox game. Like, jeepers, would you have, like, a huge party? Uh, no. Me, my sister, and my friend, but, um, we're really hungry. Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, thanks for the food. Uh, are you gonna give me a tip? Um, um, sorry, I don't really have money for a tip right now. I have like a quarter. Oh, I hate this job! Sorry! Food's here, food's here! Ooh, that looks delicious. You got so much food for us. Yeah, well, I just wanted you to have the best time at this sleepover ever. Alright, guys, let's go eat. This sweet and sour chicken is delicious. Mmm, so good. I like the pizza, Molly. Mmm, this is delicious. You want to try a bite? Um, yeah, but do I have to share my sweet and sour chicken with you? Uh, I guess not, Molly. Okay, you can have a little bit. <laughs> Since you are my best friend. Uh, gee, thanks, Molly. Ugh, I'm so full. I've got to go put my fat pants on. <laughs> Your fat pants? Yeah, basically they're the pants that have an elastic waistband. So basically my stomach can continue to grow as my food gets farther and farther into my tummy. I call them my fat pants. <laughs> I need a pair of fat pants. Wow, Rookie, you look super cozy. I am, Molly. I told you, these are my coziest pants ever. Oh, I'm so full from all of that sweet and sour chicken. So worth it, though. So worth it. Come on, Daisy. Hurry up with putting your pajamas on. I have an extremely creepy story to tell you guys. Think it might be true. Are you ready for this creepy story? I'm not sure, Molly. It's almost time to go to sleep, and I might have nightmares. Yeah, Molly, you sure? Yeah. Don't you want to hear my creepy story? I am pretty curious, but don't make it lame. Yeah, Molly. If you're gonna make it a scary story, make it really scary. The scariest part about this is it could be true. What? No, Molly, you're just pranking us. No, seriously. I was on TikTok the other day and I saw this and it was crazy. Really? What was it, Molly? So, apparently, if you go in the bathroom at night and you get on Snapchat and you look in the mirror and say Bloody Mary three times, she will appear in your Snapchat. Wait, what? I've heard the story of Bloody Mary before, but I've never heard that she'd appear on your Snapchat. Me either, Molly. I don't think that's true. Well, we could test it. <gasps> um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm good with not knowing if that's really true or not. Yeah, Molly, that seems kind of creepy. You literally would test it? I think so. When she appears on your Snapchat, you have exactly three days until she comes for you. Wait. What? Yeah, Molly, don't try that. 
Well, <laughs> that was the creepiest story ever. I'm probably never gonna sleep now. You'll be fine, Brookie, because you're not gonna actually say Bloody Mary three times. But I think I am. Why, Molly? Because someone said it's true and I wanna know. I mean, what could she possibly do? Someone on Snapchat can't really hurt you. Um, uh, Molly, I'd be careful. Bloody Mary is not someone to mess with. Yeah, I like you too, Luke. Um, I think Brookie is having a dream about Luke. Wait, does she have a crush on him? <laughs> well, I'm not sleeping at all, because it's almost 12.30 at night, and I really want to see if I go in the bathroom and say Bloody Mary into the mirror while making a Snapchat. She really does appear. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Sure, I'll go to the dance with you, Luke. You're so cute. Ugh, I can't believe she has a crush on Luke. Ew. Yeah. Really can happen. It's just a myth, like, right? I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's just a fib. It's just a myth, a prank. It can't really happen. Um, but I am gonna try it because she can't hurt us. Even if if Bloody Mary does appear, it's like, so what? I mean, she's just gonna be on my Snapchat. And I'd probably be pretty popular in school, too. All right. Well, here goes nothing. B -b 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 Come on. Be brave, Molly. B -b 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 can't make myself say it. Bloody Mary. I'm kind of scared. B -b -b Bloody Mary. B -b Bloody Mary. I knew it. It's a myth. Why is my phone going off at like one o'clock in the morning? Look at that possibly. Ah! B -b 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 what is that? Is that B -b -b Bloody Mary? Oh my god, I actually said her name. She's behind Molly and 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 Oh my god, this is so bad. I, I, oh my god, I gotta wake up Daisy. Daisy was not gonna believe this. I believe it because I see it too. Bloody Mary is standing behind Molly in her Snapchat. Oh my god, this is crazy. Huh? What, what are you guys yelling about? Molly, did you did you say you know what into the mirror when you were Snapchatting? <laughs> yeah, nothing even happened. Really? Well, look at this. Molly, this means it's only a matter of time for, before she comes back for you. Wait, what? Let me see that. Ah! Look, why is she standing behind me? I saw that snap, and, and there was nobody there. Molly, she she was behind you the whole time. Um, uh, time to move to Brookhaven. Or Bloxburg. Or, um, I don't know, throw away Roblox completely. Uh, what? No, Molly. Bloody Mary can find you anywhere. That's how this goes. How do you know? Just Googled it. Oh, Google knows everything. Oh, God, we're in so much trouble. Who mentioned, Molly, you're in so much trouble. We did say Bloody Mary. Uh, yes, you did. Ah, oh, my God, I've said it twice. Don't say it again or she's going to be after you. Well, you didn't say it while you were looking in a mirror, so you should be okay. Um, can you see re your reflection in your phone? Yeah. Well, that's mirror enough. <laughs> Don't say her name even one more time. Oh, my God. Molly, I mean, you're an annoying sister and all, but I never wanted Bloody Mary to come get you. Well, I don't know what to say, guys, but this is probably going to be my last ever. <laughs> this pizza is so delicious. Mm, so good. I think I'm going to have this, and then I'm going to have the leftover Chinese food, and... Molly, what are you doing? You're eating, like, so much food by now. Well, I figured this is my last day alive. I should make it worth it by eating everything I love. Ugh. But I should borrow Brookie's fat pants because my pants are getting a little tight. Molly, take this seriously, please. Call the police. Daisy, I can't call the police on Bloody Mary. She's not even really alive. She's just like an evil spirit or something. Police aren't going to be able to do anything. Oh my god, Molly, this is terrible. Mmm, those pizzas. Oh no, it's just Brookie. Hey Brookie, why are you crying? Because Molly, today's the last day I'm ever gonna see my best friend. Is that pepperoni on that pizza? Yeah.
Yeah? You want some? Sure. <laughs> Guys, I still think that this might be just a fluke or something. No, Molly, I think that it's really probably, well, the end of you. Yeah, Molly, we're gonna miss you. Okay, everybody stop being so crazy crazy right now. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be fine. Okay, if you say so. I'm gonna go outside and get some fresh air. It's getting a little crazy in here right now. I just, I need to, I need to get out of here. Wow, my sister and my best friend are really taking this seriously. I mean, I, I don't think that Bloody Mary is really real. <sighs> I'm gonna do a snap just cause, I don't know. Uh, it makes me feel better if I can just like do a silly snap and like look at this one. <laughs> That's so adorable. La 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 la. Everyone thinks this is the last day of my life, but the day's almost over and I don't see Bloody Mary anywhere. So I'm thinking I'm probably just fine. What is wrong with this phone? My battery life isn't low. Ugh, my snaps aren't working. Ugh, I need a new iPhone, like seriously. There we go, it's working again. Ah! Is this, 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 this Bloody Mary on my Snapchat? Ah! Okay, it's just on Snapchat. It's not real. It's not real. Person. Like someone's chasing her. What is she doing? Ah! Bloody Mary, please! D -d Don't kill me, please! Oh my god, she's chasing me! Uh, Molly, are you okay? What? Can't you see Bloody Mary? She's chasing me! Wah! Um, no, Molly, we don't see anything! Ah! Ah! Wait a minute! I think she's gone! I. I ah! No, she's back! Ah! Oh my god, she just kissed me! answering her phone she always answers when i call it's so weird all right i'm gonna try calling her one more time come on brookie pick up pick up pick up buddy who are you calling i'm calling brookie because i don't really understand that math homework and i figured maybe she would maybe she'd come over and help me i'll help you molly hello no daisy i don't want you to help me why because you think i'm so smart wait a minute did you guys just call me to argue over the phone and have me listen to it Probably that's the way Molly is. No, no, it's not. How rude. Sorry, Brookie. My sister's just being really annoying right now. Don't listen to her. Guys, stop arguing when I'm on the phone. I'm going to hang up. I tried calling you like a bunch of times, Brookie, but you didn't answer. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was trying to figure out this math homework. Jiminy Cricket, so wasn't I. It was really difficult. Yeah, mm, I just can't figure out number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15. <laughs> That's pretty much all of it, Brookie. I know. Hey, do you want to come over for a sleepover? Maybe we can figure it out together. I could door dash a pizza. Sounds amazing. I'll be there soon. Okay, bye. I'm going to go take a shower before Brookie gets here. Okay, fine. Whatever. Do I look like I really cared what you were doing? Molly, woo! Ugh, sisters. Brookie, what, what is it? Do you need to know what pajamas to pack or something? I like the ones with strawberries on them. They're adorable. <laughs> I see you. Uh, Brookie? That's not very funny. Stop pranking me now. Do you like scary movies? Uh, not really. Who is this? <laughs> huh. Creepy prank caller. Goodbye. Molly, I can't believe you pranked me like that. Wait, what? What are you talking about? I just got a prank call. What? No, it said you called me. Well, it said Brookie called me. 
Well, somebody definitely was Wobo calling us then, because it was creepy. Yeah, tell me about it. The person who called me said, I see you, and do you like scary movies? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what they said to me. Uh, that kind of creeps me out. Nah, it was probably just Sarah the bully or something being totally mean to us. Don't worry about a thing. Now, go take your shower before Brookie gets here. You don't want to be smelly, do you? Yeah. I'm never smelly. You're the one that doesn't ever take a shower, Molly. I take a shower, like once a week, if I really need it. <laughs> oh, Brookie! <laughs> I'm so excited to see my best friend. Hey, Molly, are you ready for the sleepover? Sure am. Huh. It was a little bit crazy, though, before you got here. What were you talking about? Well, somebody, like, used your number to call me and prank me. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and they have a really creepy voice and stuff, but I'm just sure it's like Sarah the bully from school or something. Oh, that is creepy. Well, come on, let's go work on that math homework. Yeah, and then I have a new scary movie I want to watch. How about you? I don't know, a scary movie? Especially after a creepy call? It's going to be fine, Brookie. I'm sure it was just somebody from school pranking us. Now, come on, let's go work on that math homework so we can get it over with. Homework is not my favorite thing. Me either, Molly. So I think for number five, the answer should be 236. What do you think, Brookie? Well, uh, that's what I got too. So I'm thinking that must be the right answer. Okay, cool. Uh, so we just have like two more problems to go. Should I make some popcorn? I'm starting to get really hungry. Hey guys, um, are you guys ready to um, watch a movie or something? Well, we do still have two more problems of our homework to go, but I suppose we could do it in study hall tomorrow before class. I really want to watch this scary movie. Me too. Really? You really do? Yeah, you convinced me, Molly. I'm sure that was just a prank call. Nothing creepy or anything like that. It did sound creepy. Wait, you got the prank call too? Yeah, I got it. Was it from my number? No, it was from Molly's number. Are you sure Molly wasn't pranking us the whole time? She could be. You just never know with Molly sometimes. I need the popcorn, guys. It looks super delicious. Oh, man, you made it extra buttery. My favorite. I'm just going to sit over here and uh, eat the whole thing. Molly, give us some. <laughs> All right, I'll get you guys a bowl so you can have some too. Whoa, Molly, don't enter the house at midnight. This new movie looks so scary. Yeah, it totally does. I'm going to take a Snapchat of us um, watching this scary movie. Okay, everybody get behind Brookie so we can do a Snapchat. Uh, Daisy, are you coming? Yeah, I was just still eating some of my popcorn and I didn't want popcorn corners in my teeth. <laughs> Alright, everybody, um, tell us, tell everybody what you're doing. I'm eating delicious buttery popcorn with my best friend and my annoying sister and we're about to watch a new movie. Mandy! It's a scary movie, and um, we're pretty excited about it, especially since we got a prank call tonight. Yeah, you guys, that was so crazy and creepy. All right, well, that's the end of our snap. Okay, let's watch the movie. Actually, first I'm going to go upstairs and go to the bathroom, okay? Um, Because I drank way too much soda. Oh, I got our snap. Oh, look at us. We look adorable. I love it. Oh my gosh, my phone is buzzing. Well, maybe Bookie's out of toilet paper or something. You don't ever change a toilet paper roll, Molly. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. What? It's a Snapchat from outside our house. It just says, he, 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 he. Like, it's in the backyard. What? That's creepy, Molly. Our backyard is completely fenced with like an eight foot tall fence. Who could that be? Um, I don't know. Stay away from the windows, Molly. I don't want you to see something creepy. Well, I don't know if I should call 911 or what. What? What's going on, guys? I just got a snap just sent specifically to me. And it said, like, ha, ha, ha. And it was from our backyard. And it was a picture of, like, a snap of, like, me and Daisy from outside. What? That's so creepy. Do you think this has anything to do with it? With the phone call you got earlier? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. How'd they get in our backyard? It's totally creepy. Well, I mean, if you called the police, you couldn't really say anything because I don't see anyone in your backyard. 
Let's just ignore it happened and watch the movie. What? Whoa. I just got another stamp, Molly, and you're not gonna like it. What? Why? What is it? Do you <sighs> like scary movies? Ha! Ah, that's exactly what the person on the phone said. And it looks like they took a picture of us for the front of the house. Oh, M, G. Oh my gosh, my phone is ringing. Should I answer it? Um, maybe it's your mom. That would be a good thing if it was your mom. Yeah, answer it, Brookie. You definitely should. Okay. Um, uh, hello? Do you like scary movies? Oh my god, guys. It's him. Um, who are you and why are you pranking us? Yeah, good question, Brookie. Good question. <laughs> I see you. Ah. Uh, I, uh, uh, where do you see us? Ask him that. Where do you see us? I'm right outside your house. <laughs> now tell me, what's your favorite scary movie? I don't like scary movies. I changed my mind. Tell him we only like to watch Coco Ballet or Blippi or, um, you know, something like that. Something really fun. No scary movies here. Nope, nope, nope. We don't like scary <sighs> movies. You don't? <laughs> I think you're watching one right now. Um, well, then you're not looking good because we turned the TV off like five minutes ago there, genius. Who's that? Put her on the phone. I uh, know. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you got nowhere to go. I'm outside your house. Brookie, hang up the phone. Hang it up. Um, goodbye. You're being really rude. What are we going to do? Um, we're going to go upstairs and lock the door. Come on. All right, guys, which room would be the safest? Probably the one with the least amount of windows. This one seems the safest. Okay, okay, okay. Molly, don't lock me out. What are you doing? Sorry about that. Okay, um, see if we can see him down below. I, I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> Dizzy, quit closing the curtains. I can't see anything. I don't want him to see us either, Molly. Okay, well, so far I don't see him anywhere. So I think that's probably a good thing. Oh. Are we safe? I don't know who that guy is, but maybe we should call 911. Good idea. I'm calling the police. Are they answering, Molly? It's still ringing. 911, what's your emergency? There's this creepy guy. He's outside our windows. Or outside our house, I mean. And, and he Frank called us, and then he was taking pictures on Snapchat outside our house. And, and, and... I, I, I'm just freaking out because I think he might be a crazy psycho. And can you send a police officer over, like, right away? It's me, my sister, and my friend that are here. So you need a police officer? Uh, yeah. Right away. I have a question for you before I send a police officer out. Okay. W -w 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 what is it? Do you like scary movies? Ah! Oh my god! How did you get... How did you get on this phone line? <laughs> I hacked it. I know what room you're in. <laughs> oh, you're all in trouble now. Okay, I have a plan. My mom has an iPad in the other room. I bet he doesn't have any hacked access to that. Yeah, Molly, it is a super old iPad. He wouldn't even know about it. Well, one of us needs to be brave enough to go in there. Uh, uh, I'll do it, guys. Uh, it's the least I can do. I mean, because you guys are my best friends. Brookie, no! I have to, guys. It's, it's for the good of us all. Okay, Brookie. We'll just get the iPad and run right back here, okay? Good luck, Brookie. Stay safe. What? I got another Snapchat? Oh, no. This can't be good. Wait. What is that? It's, it's a picture of us from the, 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 the room that we're in. What? Where's that iPad? I need to find it really fast and then go back and be with Molly and Daisy. I'm afraid to be in here by myself. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, think. Where would I put an old iPad and a charger for it, too? Maybe it's in the nightstand. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> what? What? I tried to hide in the crib, but he still sees me. 
Why does Laura have a baseball bat next to her bed? Oh well, I don't care. It's time to, well, meet your doom, you evil thing, whatever. Who, what are you, a monster, like a demon? <laughs> you can't take me down. I can't be killed. Well, I wasn't planning on that, but I'm pretty sure this baseball bat upside your kneecap's gonna feel pretty good. You can't take me- Oh, that hurt! Yeah, right. I can't take you down. Try messing with Brookie Cookie ever again. <laughs> Daisy, what was that sound? I don't know. It sounded like a fight in the other room. Do you think that that guy got in and, and, and got Brookie? Our best friend? What would we do if something ever happened to her? I don't know, Molly, but we have to go try to rescue her. Okay, we have to be brave. What? There's the killer. Brookie, what are you doing? Well, I totally hit him with a baseball bat. <laughs> he didn't like that very much. And now I'm taking a Snapchat to show everybody this creepy guy who is obviously going to prison now. I just wanted to... I... I... I wanted to know if you like scary movies. Um, well, um, <laughs> Brookie, that snap is awesome. Okay, let's read some text. Some, I'm going to text it on it. Wait, I want to take a Snapchat and send it. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We captured this guy. And we're going to call the police. Oh, let's, like, let's give him a funny face. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Well, that's too funny. Let's give him a rainbow face. La 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 la. <laughs> Ghost face, what do you think of that, huh? Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. Let's send this to everybody. <laughs> I can't believe you can't do such brats. Do, 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 do. So, Ghost face, this is the end of you. Here's some daisies for Aww. you. I wonder if this ever happens to Jason, Freddy, Chucky. We're live in three, two, one, on air. Hello, citizens of Brookhaven. It's your favorite newscaster, Miley. Today, I have some very important breaking news. <sighs> Brookhaven has an outbreak of lyotomy. Lyotomy is where, when you catch it, you can't help but tell lies. Guys, stay in your houses. Don't leave. You do not want to catch lyotomy. Lyotomy? Oh my gosh. I hope I didn't catch it. I mean, I went to Starbucks after school today and and and, and I didn't wash my hands before I ate my donut. Oh no. I'm sure I'm fine. I'm probably panicking about nothing. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little jumpy, jumpy about that lyotomy. <laughs> Someone's at my door and I freaked out. Oh, it's Brookie. Hey, Brookie, come on in. Hey, Molly. It's good to see you. It's good to see you too. So, um, you here to hang out? Actually, Molly, um, I, I have to tell you a little bit of bad news. Uh oh! What? Bad news? What is it? Don't freak out. It's not as bad as it as you think. But I'm moving from Brookhaven. Wait, what? <laughs> moving from Brookhaven? No, no! I'm sorry, Molly, but it's true. I can't help it. My parents decided they're gonna move because my dad got a new job. Brookie, no! You're my best friend! You can't leave! Molly, it's okay. It's just a short car ride away. We're not like moving to California or something. Oh, thank goodness. But will you still go to my school? Yeah, I just won't live like right next door. Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to go to your school anymore. I have to check. But you won't be there all day then! Yeah, I know, but I'm sorry, Molly. I, I can't do anything about it. Ugh. Brookie... I'm so sad about this. Hey, did you watch the news? What? Why are you talking about the news right now? No, of course I didn't. I was on my way over here. I didn't have time to watch the news. Besides, the news is for old people. Duh. We just Google all of our information. Yeah, well, um, I saw something on there, but wait, what was it? Something important, but now I can't seem to remember it. Oh, well, <laughs> maybe it was about having amnesia because it seems like you have it. Nah, I don't think that's what it was about. Wait, do I have amnesia? <laughs> Molly, I'm just teasing. Hey, look, I gotta go home and pack. 
Brookie, you can't leave. No. I'm going to stand in front of the door. You can't ever leave. Don't leave. Don't be ridiculous. You know I have to leave. I, I know that we're BFFs, but don't worry. We can still hang out with one another. I really hope so, Brookie. I really hope so. Um, because I can't live without you. Yes. I, I can't. Aww. Really, Molly? Yeah. I, I, I'll get, like, super sick. I'll get green with illness. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Molly, you're right. You are turning green. Are you okay? <sighs> no. I'm not okay. My best friend, she can't move. Molly, you can come visit me every day after school, okay? Now, please, turn back to your normal color. Okay, Brookie. But, but don't leave me for long. <laughs> wow. Brookie's parents are really rich. Hey, Molly, come on in. Welcome to our new house. Holy macaroni and cheese. What kind of job did your parents get? A really good one. This town is so cool. Look, we even have our own movie theater. <gasps> Holy tacos and guacamole. Molly, so tell me the truth. Um, do you really like Luke? I was thinking about asking him to the dance. Wait, what? No, I don't like him. Are you being for real, Molly? I, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Yeah, I don't I don't like Luke. I, I actually just like don't like him at all. He's not even my friend anymore. Wait, what? So I've been out of a different like out of our school and a different school for like a week and you already decided you don't want him as a friend? That's right. Well what did he do? He ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwich at lunch. Can you believe that? Molly, are you telling me the truth right now? <laughs> That's kind of a silly reason to not be someone's friend. Yeah, but it was peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorites. And yes, it is a perfectly good reason. Now, come on. Let's go into the kitchen and make some snacks. I'm really hungry. You can find the kitchen. This house is gigantic. Oh, yeah. Molly, I haven't even figured it out yet. But I'm pretty sure it's up here. Whoa, Brookie. Your house is so amazing. I mean, not that amazing. It's, it's kind of lame. What? What are you talking about? I thought you said you loved it. Yeah, I changed my mind. It's lame. <laughs> Molly, what's gotten into you? What do you mean, what's gotten into me? What's gotten into you? What? I... Okay. <laughs> First of all, you don't want to be friends with Luke anymore, even though you had a huge crush on him and he was a good friend of yours just because he ate your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And now you're telling me you loved my house, but you're saying you don't love it? <laughs> so which is the lie, Molly? What? Nothing's a lie. I'm not a liar. <laughs> oh, really, Molly? I think you are lying. I don't think you ever not want to be friends with Luke. And I think you really do like my house. Your house is crummy and ugly and I hate it. Molly, that hurt my feelings. Do you feel bad about hurting my feelings? Uh-oh. Um, no. Molly, maybe we shouldn't be friends anymore. Well, you need to be my friend for at least another hour because my sister borrowed the car to go to dance class and I've got no ride home since you moved to another town. But Molly, you said you couldn't even live without me. They, you turned green because you'd be so sick if, if you couldn't be my friend anymore. And and here I am inviting you to my new house and you're going to be rude like this? Do I look green now? Um, no. I think you should call Daisy and tell her to come pick you up early. Fine. I'll call her. It's ringing. Okay, fine. Can't believe it. I thought that when I moved away, we'd still be friends. Well, you thought wrong. Hello, what's up? I'm doing my pure rights. Daisy, um, you need to come get me, like, now. What? Why? Just come to Brookie's. It's an emergency. Bye. There, are you happy? Now I'm going to make a snap about how rude you are for kicking me out of your house. What? I don't want to be on your snap. I don't care you're on my snap. No! Well, tell them the truth, then. You're being rude. I'm not going to be on your snap. Um, my friend Brookie is being so rude right now. She's kicking me out of her house for no reason. What? No, I'm not. Says the girl who doesn't even want to be on this snap. Okay, Molly. Tell me the truth. What's really going on? Are you an alien that's abducted my best friend's body? Because you don't seem like yourself. Well, think again. Excuse me. I have to go to the bathroom. I ate a bean burrito for lunch. <laughs> the bathroom's the other way. Fine! <gasps> Molly, that's not the door to the bathroom. Well, that's not my fault. I mean, why'd you make your door so big on your refrigerator? 
Molly, you're not allowed to just eat my food after you were so mean to me. Too bad. Mm. I'm eating this ice cream on the way to the bathroom. Yeah. Ugh. Molly, you are so rude. <laughs> Ow, why are you running into me? Because I don't know where the bathroom is in this house either. Ugh. Well, I don't know why my friend has gotten so rude. I don't know what her problem is. Good ice cream. Molly, are you done in the bathroom? I have to use it. No, I'm not. Well, get out of the bathroom, Molly. Why are you lying so much to me? I'm going in the bathroom. Okay, well, you have fun with that. What's that smell? <gasps> Ew! Molly, did you forget to flush the toilet? Huh? What? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about this giant dude in my bathroom. Gross! Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't me. Molly, you're the only one here. What, was it a ghost? Uh, yep, must have been. Why is he lying so much? And what did you have for lunch? It's gross in here. <laughs> I had a nutritious, delicious lunch. A chicken salad. I don't believe you, Molly. You had bean burritos. I know what bean burritos do to you. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. What are you talking about? You're lying about lying. I'm not 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 lying. Hello? Is anybody there? We're going to get to the bottom of this, Molly. If it's the last thing I do. Get to the bottom of what? What are you even talking about? We're downstairs, Daisy. Come on in and pick up your rude, lying sister. What's going on? I had to leave my dance class early. This is ridiculous. Molly, tell me what's going on. Did you stick up Boogie's bathroom? What? No. Why do you say that? Because it smells awful in here and I know it wasn't Brookie. And you had a bean burrito for lunch. Hey, you told me you had a delicious and nutritious something. Chicken salad or something. You didn't say bean burrito. Um, well, this is mistaken. No, I'm not, Molly. Why are you lying about that? You love bean burritos. She's been lying about everything, Daisy. I have not. If you guys are going to be rude to me, I'm going outside. Even though I don't know how to get out of here and I can't walk home because it's too far. Molly, get back in here. We have more questions. Yeah, Molly, why? I don't know. I just keep lying and I don't know why. Oh my gosh. Molly caught my eye at me. <gasps> what? 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 What's that? I saw it about it. I, did. I saw it. I, I can't even talk. I'm so crazy by that. I saw this um thing on the news. It's called Lyotomy. It's been going around Brookhaven. You must have moved before you caught it. Well, why don't you have it, Daisy? I don't know. Maybe I'm immune. Um, I do wash my hands a lot. Molly, did you wash your hands? What? Yes. Molly. Yes. Molly, tell the truth. Yes. She can't tell the truth. Seems like Lyotomy makes her lie about everything. Well, do you still want to be a friend? I mean, it's not really her fault. Yeah, it's not really my fault. Wait, I'm not even lying. Am I? I don't know. Oh my god. I might be lying! We need to take her to the hospital. Right away. Good idea! So, um, I'm at the hospital because I'm having a baby. Molly, why are you telling people that? Get, get out of here, Molly. That's not true. Hey, get out of my snap! <laughs> I'm here to have twins. It might actually be privileged. Oh my god, she has lyotomy so bad. They're crying inside of my belly right now. Bonnie, you're the one who did that. The triplets are very mad at you for saying that. Oh god, someone give her something to knock her out. Oh look, no one's here. Time to go. Molly, get back here! Oh, I ran into the door. <laughs> Maybe I need to have my head checked. Hi, I'm Dr. Joan, and I'm going to be taking care of you today. I'm going to need you to lay down on the bed. I am laying down, lady. Um, no, you're not. You're standing up. Did you fall and bonk on your head? Ow. No, I'm just sitting down. Yeah, can't you see I'm sitting down? Okay, listen, Molly. If you don't sit down, I can't help you. I don't need help. I'm perfectly fine. No, she's not. Don't listen to that crazy person standing outside the window of this room. I don't know who she is. That's your sister. She signed you in. Now, I'm thinking that you live in Brookhaven? No, I don't. I live in Blacksburg. No, she doesn't. She lives in Brookhaven. She didn't wash her hands before she ate a donut. Now she's got lyotomy. Lyotomy? Are you serious? Okay, dear. Lay down. 
I thought we already went over this. I'm laying down. Lay down! Yes. Okay, fine. Wow, why are you being so rude? Well, this is going to be a little unpleasant. Do I get medicine? Do I get to hang out in the hospital? Do I have to do homework? Um, no, no, and no. Sorry about this, but in order for you to be cured from lyotomy, you're basically going to have to get smacked in the head with this. What? Check, please! Daisy! Ah, why can't I move? Oh, yeah, I did give you just a little bit of medicine in your IV so that um, you couldn't move while I did this. Ah! Well, sorry about this, but ooh, I sort of need a nap. <laughs> just kidding. It's a glitch in the game. It always makes me want to lay down in the bed when I'm trying to be a doctor. <laughs> Ow, did you just hit me? Okay, try to tell a lie. You're very pretty. What? I don't know if that's a lie or the truth. It's a lie, lady. Knock me again. called me ugly and you deserved that. Ugh, I want to get out of here. Can I move now? I suggest you lay here on this magic cot for at least another hour. Is it really magic? Um, no, but I may have caught your lyotomy. Oh no! It's spreading! Ah! Uh-oh. Guess you should have washed your hands before you smacked me in the head with that hammer. Molly? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm feeling a lot better, but I have a headache. Ow. I wonder, holy guacamole. Where's Brookie? Uh, you're lying down a little bit too much for her. Oh no! Oh, Molly, apparently whatever they gave you made you levitate. Um, actually, no, that's for my bean burrito. <laughs> Ew, Molly! What? It makes a lot of wind under me. <laughs> Get it, wind. Ay, ay, ay. Molly, just text Brookie. Tell her you're sorry. Okay, here we go. Hi, Brookie. I know I lied, but it was because I had a disease. I may lie about my homework. Oh, wait, I was wrong. Um, uh, if you did your homework, you could spell it right. I wouldn't lie to you, please. We've been friends forever. Molly, just apologize. Why are you waiting to a novel right now? It's not supposed to be a book. Daisy, shh. Please, we've been friends forever. We met at daycare. And you... Five minutes later. You've been my BFF since then. How will I ever... A few minutes later. Live without you. Molly, just say you're sorry. Okay, fine. Whoops, I already clicked send. I'm sorry. Oh, little, like cat emoji. Um, or dog maybe. Look at this grumpy cat. Like, wait. I just want to send her something cute. Why do I always gotta pay for it? Oh my god! I think she sent me a heart. Did I send? Oh. Yeah, 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 Molly. She sent that to you. I hope she comes back into the hospital and talks to me. Hello, oh, Molly. She may. Oh, she texts you back. She texts me back. What am I saying? I don't know. She smacked you on the head with a hammer. Okay. What does this mean? I don't, Molly, just, just, just put your phone down. You need your rest. No, I need to know what she means. Molly, the doctor told you to stay in bed. You just had a crazy procedure. I know, but I have to find Brookie. Oh, Brookie! I'm so sorry. Where are you? What do you want, Molly? Oh, Brookie! Hi, I'm sorry I had lyotomy, and, 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 uh, do you forgive me? <gasps> I don't know. Yes, I, no. Wait, what? I don't know. I mean, you are, well, an ugly person. Wait, What? Oh my god, Brookie, do you feel sort of green? Uh, yeah, sort of. Uh, okay, um, Brookie, you caught lyotomy. <gasps> what? No, I haven't. Brookie, you're lying. Come on, let's go. They have to hit you over the head with a hammer. Wait, what? Are you lying? No, really, that's the cure. Oh! <laughs> Can I believe my eyes right now? Molly, are you actually doing your homework? Yeah, 
I'm trying to be a good student. Wow, congratulations, Molly. Yay! Hopefully you can actually succeed. Well, uh, <laughs> no promises. Whoa, I wonder who that could be. It's probably Brookie. She texted me earlier and said her mom is going on this health kick, so she's only putting fruits and vegetables in the house. Yeah. And she knows we have donuts. <laughs> Coming, Brookie! Hey, where's Brookie? Maybe she's already in the kitchen eating a donut. No, no, Brookie. Wait, what? Did Amazon deliver a package? Oh boy, I love presents! Maybe my mom got me one because I've been doing my homework lately. Whoa, Molly, where's Bookie? Um, she's not here, but... You got a present, I know! Hey! Did Bookie bring that? No, it was just out front. I think maybe Amazon delivered it. Let me see that. To Molly and Daisy? From a secret admirer? <gasps> Someone wants to ask me to the dance. La, 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 la. Well, then why would it be to both of us? Oh, yeah. Good point. I thought it was because I was doing my homework, but... You always do your homework, so why should you get a prize? Hey, wait a minute. That doesn't seem fair. Well, let's open it and find out who it's from. Daisy, it's an invitation. An invitation to what? I hereby announce that you've been invited to a royal sleepover? What? That's amazing! Yeah, but who invited us? Love your secret admirer. I don't know. Hmm, something seems kind of fishy about this, Molly. I don't know if we should go. Are you kidding me? I know exactly who it's from. It could be for some crazy person <laughs> who just wants us to go to their house. Or it could be from that new famous YouTuber that just moved into Brookhaven, but she wants to keep her new friends on the down low, so she's invited us over to her mansion. I don't know, Molly, but you could be right, so we should at least go and check it out. And the sleepover's tonight, so we've got to go pack a bag. Come on, Daisy. This is so exciting. Why did you put the package in the elevator? Oopsie. I didn't mean to stash the box in there. I guess I was supposed to take it to the trash. <laughs> now it's stuck in the elevator. Okay, that's kind of funny. Come on, Daisy. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. All right, all right. I'm ready, Molly. Jeepers creepers. I still don't know about this. Daisy, you jumped over the railing. You're not supposed to do that. Mom said you'll get a timeout. Well, I'm just so excited. I couldn't think as to wait. And I just want to get to the sleepover. I thought you thought it was going to be creepy. Well, I'm not sure yet. But I can't wait to find out. And look at Molly. A limo actually came to pick us up. Holy guacamole. Fancy. This is going to be an amazing sleepover. I just know it. Come on, Daisy, get in. Molly, seriously? Are you going to hang your head on the sunroof the entire ride? Whee! <laughs> Whoa, it's freezing out here. But I don't care. This is amazing. <laughs> Daisy, are you driving? Well, the driver decided that he was going to not show up, so I'm just going to drive us over there. I have the address and everything. Well, drive careful. You don't want to chop my head off on one of those bridges. Well, then you better actually get in here. Can't. Have to have so much fun. Whee! <laughs> Never drove in a limo before. Whee! <laughs> Holy macaroni! Is this where the sleepover is? I think so, Molly. This is where the address was. Wow. I bet they're going to have the most delicious pizza ever. Oh, great. What are you losers doing here? What are we doing here? What are you doing here? I'm here for the exclusive sleepover. Duh. And you guys are way too well losers to do the sleepover. Oh, yeah? Well, here's our invitation, Sarah. We got one, too. Wait, you got an invitation, Sarah? Uh, yeah, duh. Hey, guys, what's up? Brookie, what are you doing here? I got an invitation to a really cool sleepover at this amazing mansion. But wait a minute. I thought this was a hotel that closed down years ago. Well, obviously somebody bought it and moved in here and made it a house. I think that's amazing. I don't know about this, guys. 
Something is telling me in my tummy that this isn't right. What are you talking about? It's probably an invite from that new famous YouTuber that moved into Brookhaven. That's exactly what I told her, Sarah. Whoa. We actually thought alike for once, Sarah. I don't think so. I would never think like you. You're an ignoramus. Hey, look, we all got invited to this sleepover, Sarah, which means we all need to get along. I don't know, Maddie. I think we should go home. Don't be ridiculous. This place looks amazing. Who's going? Um, I am. I am. And so am I. Daisy and Rob. Okay, fine. But only because I don't want you guys to get in trouble without me. Come on, guys. Let's go. Whoa. Look at this place. Yeah, it's amazing. What was that? It was the sound of the door locking. Wait, what? No, no that can't be right. Like, let's nobody panic. I mean, it's probably just a lock-in party. Those are very exclusive. Yeah, guys, look at the size of this television. It's amazing. Uh, Brooke, I don't think that's a television. I think that's actually, like, where you check in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oopsie. It kind of looked like a TV to me. But look at this. They have an indoor pool. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, um, I'm sure it's just one of those lock-in parties. Right, Daisy? I don't know. I told you I felt really crazy about this before we got here. And now it's in an old abandoned hotel. And where's the people who are hosting the party? Yeah, that's a good question. Where's the host? What just happened to the lights? I, 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 I. OMG, Molly. This is freaking me out. Yeah, me too. Oh, wait, the lights just came back on. Maybe it's just short-circuited. Now, where is that host that's, like, supposed to be here to celebrate this sleepover with us? I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Maybe they didn't hear us show up. Um, I think they heard us because, well, uh, the door locked. Molly, I think I just saw the host! What? 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 Ridiculous. There's nobody standing behind Sarah. Oh, this is so lame. Where's all the pizza? Oh my god! Did you guys just see that? It was like a ghost or something. Ah! Oh my god, this was a really bad idea. Ah, ah. The doors are locked. We can't even get out of here. What are we gonna do now? It's, 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 it's a ghost. We are gonna try not to panic. Okay, everybody huddle together. We have to decide what to do. <laughs> Welcome to my sleepover. <laughs> Let's see if you can survive the night. That's it. We're all gonna die. Don't talk like that, Brookie. As long as we can stick together, there's four of us, and then and, and we outnumber her. Yeah, but she's some sort of creepy demon or ghost or something. We're not going to survive this, Molly. I told you we shouldn't have come here, but you never listened to me. Well, I just think the sleepover is lame. Of course it's lame. It's given by a ghost or something. Well, guys, let's just think about this, okay? We just have to try to survive the night, and then maybe the doors will unlock in the morning. I've seen this movie, I think, before. Really? I don't know, but one like it. So let's go upstairs and see if we can find a bedroom. Well, we can't barricade the door or anything because the ghost can still get in. No, but we should try to get some rest. I mean, I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of the ghost. Well, first maybe we should check the refrigerator. I'm hungry. <laughs> a few minutes later. What? No refrigerator? This really is a creepy nightmare sleepover. Wait, I smell something. It smells kind of like food. Ooh. <laughs> Score. Mm, that's pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. Molly, that could be poison. Stay away from that. Doesn't taste like poison. That's very good. Ay, 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 Molly, come on. Let's go up to the bedroom that we can find and, and, and try to get some rest. Molly, if I have to be trapped in a creepy hotel with anyone, I'm glad it's my BFF. Aww. Me too, me too. Okay, let's stay in Emerald Room. That seems like a good room, right? Wow, everything's so green. <laughs> ah, 
Yeah, she's in this room. Nope, Emerald Room is a definite no. Definite no on the Emerald Room. Let's find a different one. Holy guacamole. Next floor, please. Ooh. The Royal Room. This seems pretty cool. I am, I am royalty. Wow. This is a pretty posh bathroom. Yep, this one's a go for me. And if there's no ghost, that's even better. Look at this artwork, though. That artwork looks like it has eyes. It's kind of creeping me out. Molly, where's everyone else? I don't know. Maybe they got lost on the way. Or maybe they're not royalty, so they can't stay here. <laughs> Molly, I don't think that's it. But seriously, though, what's up with the artwork in this hotel? Like, this is art? It looks like a prison cell. <laughs> they need to upgrade their art here. Um, where is my sister, though? I, and where is Sarah? Wait, how do I get out of this room? All right, here's the door. Let's go see if I can find them. Daisy, Sarah, where are you? Come on, we're in the royal room. Molly, did you find Sarah and Daisy? No, I think we better go back to the first floor. Maybe they got lost on the way here. After we saw that ghost, everybody sort of just scattered. Rookie, look, it's a grown-up. Hi, hi, I'm Molly, and, and I got this creepy invitation. Well, I didn't think it was creepy, but it's actually creepy. And, 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 and I, I... Molly, slow down. He can't understand anything you're saying. Okay, I got this invitation to come to a sleepover here, but when I got here, all there was was a creepy ghost, and she locked us in! Creepy ghost, you say, huh? Hmm, I see. Can you help us? Call 911! Or open the door or something! <laughs> <gasps> Molly, why is he laughing like that? <laughs> Seriously, why are you laughing like that? Do you have, like, a laughing thing that you do? Like, is that how you laugh? <laughs> yeah, his laugh is pretty weird. <laughs> Molly, I don't think that was a, I don't know, that was a grown-up. <laughs> I fooled you. Can you see me now? <laughs> no one could ever see me. I was a lost soul. Lost soul? Did she used to go to our school? Oh my god, it's the legend of Marie! What? What are you talking about? The legend of Moby. Everybody knows the legend of Moby. Yeah, Molly, she just disappeared one day. They said everyone bullied her so much and didn't pay attention to her that she literally vanished. <gasps> what? Ah! Ah, we're stuck in this hotel with crazy Marie? Ah! Molly, what are we gonna do? I don't know, but I would say whatever we do, no one falls asleep. Do you understand? Yes, Molly. I won't fall asleep. Trust me. Well, I'm kind of tired right now. So... Wake up, Brookie. This is no time for sleeping. And where is Sarah? I don't know, Molly. But I think maybe we... She took... Brookie! Don't close your eyes! Don't! Oh, sorry. I'm just so sleepy. I didn't get enough sleep last night. And so tonight I was like, wondering if I was going to be able to stay awake for the sleepover. And the answer is probably no. Well, get serious about staying awake because there she is again! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be seen. Let's play. I never had a sleepover. Blah! Molly! Sorry, I tried to hold it in, but when I get nervous, I sort of fart a lot. <coughs> Ew, Molly, that smells like a bean burrito with rotten eggs on top. <laughs> uh, oopsie. I don't know where Sarah is, but Marie is not going to take us down. Huddle in close, friends. We're about to discuss our plan. <coughs> oh, Molly, you still smell like a rotten egg. Why are you making us come in close? Well, unless you want Marie to hear us. Marie doesn't know this, but I have a phone in my pocket. <gasps> uh, okay, Marley. All the phones in the hotel are out. She, she made sure we couldn't call, but she doesn't know I have a special emergency phone because my dad is a police officer and he can take down anybody, living or dead. Yeah, you messed with the wrong goose this time, Marie. To distract Marie. Brookie, you're also going to try to distract Marie. I'm going to make the call while you got her distracted. 
but that means we have to separate. Look what happened to Sarah. She's been taken by Marie. She probably lives in the walls now. I thought I heard her yelling. Oh, that's creepy. Poor Sarah. But look, this has to be done. You go into the kitchen area. Brookie, you head up to the rooms. And I'll go by the front door and call Dad. Okay, I hope this plan works. Me too. Me too. Somebody like, help me! Whoa, Sarah was in the walls. Oh no, poor Sarah. Okay, she should be distracted. It's ringing! Hello, Brookhaven Police. This is Dan speaking. Dad, I need your help! What's wrong, Molly? What's going on? Dad, an evil ghost invited us to a sleepover. Me and Daisy and Sarah and and Brookie and, and and we're stuck in the house. Molly, don't be pranking me. I'm at work. Dad, I'm being serious. Please. Whoa, Molly, you're being serious right now? Yeah, totally. You have to track the the phone and know where I am because I don't have the invitation anymore. I left it somewhere because you know, whoopsie. Okay, Molly, I'll be there as soon as I can. She locked us in, Dad! You tried to leave my sleepover? How dare you! Uh-oh! Everybody, new plan! Run! Marley, what's going on? I came on to check on you! And run! Wait, where's Brookie? She's upstairs like you told us. Oh, and she... Oh! Ah! What's going on? She's trying to, to keep us here for level. Um, Brookie, this isn't good. I mean, Daisy, who are you? I'm your sister. You're getting very confused. Brookie, where are you? That's what I meant. Oh, um, I don't know where she is. Brookie! Ah, this is crazy! Dad! Dad! Dad, help! Help the door! It's okay, girls. I've broken the lock. Dad! Oh, I'm so happy to see you right now. Girls, is everybody okay and accounted for? I'm okay. Just scared. Me too, but Dad, Sarah's still in there. Wait, what? I have to go in. Dad, no! Marie will trap you in there forever! Look, it is my job as a police officer to keep everyone in Brookhaven safe, especially kids. I have to go in. But she's a bully. Can't we just leave her there? Absolutely not, Molly! Bully or not, she needs to be rescued! I know, I know, but you're my dad! Dad! No! Oh my god, that's a creepy ghost! I know, Dad! Be careful! Your dad is going to be stuck here forever! <laughs> hey girls, I'm back! Hey mom, did you get everything I put on the list for our sleepover? I sure did, Molly! Okay, let's see. Popcorn, check. Soda, check. Candy, check. Yay! Now all I need is to get over this cold I've had for like six days. Don't worry, Molly. You spread it all over the school. Now we all have it. Yeah, which means you still can have a sleepover since all your friends have the cold too. Exactly. Oh, they should be here any minute. Whoa, one of our guests is here. It's Brookie Cookie. Come on in, Brookie. Hey, Molly. Hey, Daisy. Good to see you. Thanks for inviting me to your sleepover. No problem. Why are you just sitting there not watching TV? Because I didn't want to spoil any of the movies we were going to watch before our friends got here. I'm just patiently waiting for everyone to arrive. Well, we're just waiting for one more person. And there's Smiley Miley now. Come on in, Miley. Miley is a new student at our school, and she's so fun and nice. Hey, guys. What's up? Hey, Miley. Um, we're just really excited that you're at our sleepover. Yeah, and that you're one of our new friends. Totally, Miley. Welcome to the club. Oh, thanks. I'm really excited to be here. Yeah, we're excited to have you. So what should we do first? I think we should play hide and seek. Ooh, sounds fun, but let's eat some chocolate first. Gotta have some energy. <laughs> Plus, it's a sleepover, so we need to eat something delicious. Ooh. Mm. Here, Smiley Miley. Have some Hershey bars. And you too, Brookie. Wow, Molly, this is delicious. Yeah, Molly, it's so, so good. 
I'm glad you let guys like it. Now that we have energy, we can play hide and seek. Don't mind my voice. I'm still kind of sick from that cold that went around the whole school. I am too, but I'm feeling a lot better. Me too, but Molly, you still sound pretty sick. Yeah, but I feel fine. I just sound terrible. So come on, let's play hide and seek. I'll be it first. Um, Molly, I really think that we should do teams. Okay, well, I'm on Molly's team. Yeah, me and Brookie, Cookie against you and Smiley Miley. Okay, no problem. I love Smiley Miley, and we're going to do amazing, right, Miley? That's right, Daisy, totally. Who's going to count? One, two, three, not it! Okay, Molly, we'll count. You guys hide. Perfect, Molly, come on, let's find a great spot. Maybe we should split up. Well, if you think so, I mean, we're a team. Yeah, but if they find one of us, then they have to find both of us. Molly, I really think we should stick together on this one. We are a team. Team means we stick together. <sighs> Obviously, you don't know the subtle nuances of hide and seek, but okay. We can hide together if you really want to. Thanks, Molly. I think it's the best thing to do. Where should we hide, Molly? Maybe we could hide inside this cabinet. Ooh, that's actually a really good spot. No one will find us in here. Okay, um, let me just crouch down. Uh, move over a little bit, Brookie. I'm trying, Molly, but, but... Okay, Molly, don't fart in here. Seriously. Well, um, no promises. <laughs> oh, Molly. Ready or not, here we come. I wonder where they could be, Daisy. I don't know, Miley, but I'm pretty good at hide and seek. So am I. I think we're going to do really great. They're never going to win. Don't worry about it, Brookie. This hiding spot's amazing. I found you. Wait, what? How did you find us? Uh, Brookie's feet were sticking out the bottom of the cabinet. Brookie? Oh, man, you made us lose. Way to go. Jeepers, Molly, I'm sorry. It's just a game. I know, but I really wanted to win. My sister always wins at everything in Roblox, and I never win. And, and you ruined it. Jeez, Molly, maybe I shouldn't have come to your sleepover. Molly, you're being really angry and rude. You're being a super sore loser. Do you need a timeout? I don't know what just came over me. I I was being rude. Oh, Brookie, I'm sorry. I I I guess I guess being a sore loser just got the better of me. I, I'm sorry. It's okay, Molly. It just made me feel really sad. I thought we were just having fun at the sleepover. We are just having fun. I mean, we were. I, I'm sorry, Brookie. Let me make it up to you. Um, let's order a pizza. Great. I'm starving. Me too. Me for we. And I'm always hungry, so pizza sounds delicious for me. Hello, this is Tony's Pizza. How can I help you? Uh, yes. I'd like to order a sheet pizza, please. Okay, what you want on it, Molly? How'd you know it was me? Because you call me like every other day to order a sheet pizza with extra cheese. Yeah, that'll do. Does anybody else want anything? No, Molly. We just want a sheet pizza with the extra cheese, too. Okay, it's going to be about 15 minutes. Okay, can you deliver it to my house? Of course, Molly. Anything for one of our best customers. Thanks, Tony. Bye. All right, guys. I ordered the pizza. And it should be here in about 15 minutes. Great. I'm starving. Me too. Pizza's here. Molly, don't hold it like that. You're going to spill it. Yeah, Molly. Everybody knows you have to hold a pizza flat and not over your head. You mean like this? Molly, you're seriously going to... Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> More pizza for me if it gets all, like, smushed to one side. Um, yeah, Molly, but we want some pizza, too. Molly, you're doing terrible with your friends today. Okay, sorry, it was just a joke. Ugh, I really am ruining this sleepover. Don't be ridiculous, Molly, you're not ruining it. Everybody makes mistakes, even if you did hold the pizza sideways. Wow, this pizza from Tony's is the absolute best. Yeah, we always order from Tony's in Brookhaven. He makes the most delicious pizza ever. Mm, this is like my fourth piece. Whoa, Molly, that's a lot of pizza. I know, Miley, but it's so good. Whoa, cute jammies, Brookie. Thanks, my mom just got them. I love them. Oh, no, I forgot my pajamas. Don't worry, Smiley Miley. I've got an extra pair that'll fit you. Aw, oh, really, Molly? Thanks so much. No problem. Wow, these pajamas are adorable. Thanks for letting me borrow these pajamas. They're adorable, Molly. You're welcome, Miley. I like them too. Ladybugs are one of my favorites. Okay, everybody, we need our beauty sleep. Let's hit the hay. 
Okay, you guys can set up your sleeping bags like right here and um, stay right in our room, okay? Cool, thanks, Molly. No problem. <laughs> huh? What? what was that? It sounded like the door slamming. Maybe it was the wind. Maybe we forgot to lock the door. Oh my god, wait. Where's Brookie? She's probably downstairs just getting a snack. But I'm going to go check on her because I did hear the door slam, which I think is really weird. Brookie? Are you getting a snack? Brookie? Where is she? Maybe she's in the bathroom. Sometimes I have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night too. Especially when I eat way too much pizza. She's not in the bathroom either. Oh my god. I think that door slamming was Brookie running away from my sleepover. Oh no. Brookie was really upset with me when I, when I was mean to her about hide and seek. She ran away from my sleepover. And I'm so sad. I can only imagine what it's going to be like at school tomorrow. Brookie, there you are. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry again when I was so mean to you about hide and seek. And, 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 and I know you ran away from my sleepover last night, but, but I'm, I'm, Molly, just stop right there. I don't want to hear anymore. Well, why? What's going on? I don't want to be your best friend anymore. Wait, what? We've been best friends since preschool, Brookie. Yeah, and now that friendship is over because you're mean and rude and I don't like you anymore. What? Seriously? But, but I said I was sorry and I won't ever do it again. Too bad, Molly. You've had enough chances. We are now frenemies. Molly, what are you doing down here? Molly? Snap out of it! You're having a daydream! Huh, what? Oh! <laughs> Molly, do you need some medicine? Is your cold making you feel bad? No! I, I, I lost Brookie as my friend forever! What are you talking about, Molly? I'm talking about the fact that I, 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 I made Brookie hate me. And, and I can see my future. She ran away from the sleepover! Wait, what? Yeah, she's not in her sleeping bag. Did you not notice? Um, no, I was too busy listening to the crying downstairs and I wanted to come check on you. Well, yeah, she ran away from the sleepover because she hates me and she doesn't want to be my friend anymore. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry. Me too, Daisy. Me too! Good morning, girls. What's everyone doing today? Um, well, I was thinking about going over to Brookie's house for a little bit. Whoa, Dad, Mom's going to be home in like two days, and uh, we need to get this place cleaned up. And also, your hair is a little cray cray. <laughs> Dad, you can't even see half your face. You need a haircut. Huh, what? No, I, I, I'm trying something new. Well, let, let me take a look at it. Oh, whoa, it did get really long while your mom was gone on this work trip. Yeah, Dad. You know that she likes it short, so you should probably go to the barber and get your hair cut. Yeah, but my barber, he quit. Ow! And, and I don't have any new ones. Well, just Google it, Dad. Yeah, Dad, just Google it. Duh. What are you, from the Stone Age? <laughs> oh, very funny, but yes, I am. Oh, look at this place. Oh, here's a new place in town. Cuts are us. They do men's haircuts for $1.99. Oh, uh, Dad, I'm pretty sure they haven't charged $1.99 for a haircut since, like, 1900. <gasps> You're probably not going to get a very good haircut, though. Oh. Oh. No, Nobody worry. Cuts R Us looks like a perfectly good spot. Do they have any Google reviews? No, but I mean, they're a brand new shop, so they're not going to have reviews yet. I'm sure I'm going to be their first five-star review. Uh-huh. Or you're going to come home bald. <laughs> oh, sure. That's super funny, Molly. Ha-ha. <laughs> All right, so if you girls are going to go over to Brookie's house or whatever, make sure you're home by dinner, because I'm going to make dinner with my new amazing haircut. <laughs> okay, Dad. Well, good luck. I'm serious. I'm going to look so handsome. You're not going to even believe it. <laughs> Have a good day, girls. Oh, and um, take baby Kira with you, okay? Dad! Come on. Your little sister's not that annoying. She's not potty trained. Ugh. Whoa, this place looks nice. Hello. 
Welcome to Cuts R Us, where we cut your hair. Oh, <laughs> that's good, because I definitely need a haircut. Look at me, man. I'm like kind of crazy right now. Wait a minute. <laughs> Why do you have your hair cut, uh, covered up? Are you bad at cutting hair, so you don't want to show me what yours looks like? What? No. I'm just cold. I'm from Florida, and I'm not used to this cold weather you have here. Oh, yeah. It does get pretty cold in this town. Would you like to have the full service? I could give you all sorts of skin treatments and... Um, well, uh... I'll still do it for $1.99. Oh, okay then. Yeah, the works. Please have a seat over here. First, we'll start washing your hair. He doesn't even know what's about to happen to him. <laughs> Uh-oh! Uh, did you say something? Yeah, I said, you're gonna look so gorgeous when I get done. <laughs> wow, that shampoo you're using, it's making a lot of bubbles. And ow, it's kind of burning my scalp. What is that? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. We want to get your head extra clean. Because if you're going to get a haircut, you don't want dirt. Yeah. Um, okay, whatever you say. You're the expert. Now it's time to give you a nice haircut. Um, I'm really excited because my wife's coming home from a work trip, and I just want to look really handsome for her. I think I might take her on a date night. Aww. Oh, how lovely. Wow, I feel really different. Welcome to the dark side. <laughs> you don't even need to pay me the dollar ninety nine. Okay, well, um, yeah, thanks for your service. You're welcome. <laughs> See you later, weird straight. I like Bookie Cookie House. She's so nice. That's just because she ate, let you eat chocolate chip cookies like the entire time we were there. Yeah, baby Kila, you would never be able to do that at home. And that's why I like going to Book of Cookies house. Cause I name it Book of Cookie, I keep feed me lots of cookies. <laughs> yeah, she does feed you lots of cookies, that's for sure. Come on, baby Kira, let's go see what dad made for dinner. I'm starving. Where have you guys been? Uh, dad? Uh, is this some sort of prank? Uh, dad, your salon time looks a little bit, well, like it went quay quay. What are you talking about? I think it'll look amazing when I can look. Uh, have you looked in a mirror? Because, uh, you're, uh, bald. You went from having too much hair to zero hair, Dad. Yeah, and your skin's bright yellow. Um, and, uh, were you, uh, I don't even know what to say. I just did the body Oh, look, ugly. Uh oh. Baby Kara. Well, you may think I'm ugly, but. You are late. Uh, Dad, you said to come home by dinner. It's usually dinner about this time. Dinner was started three minutes ago. Oh, sorry about that. What are we having? Noodles. Lots and lots of noodles. What? Noodles? Well, it is Dad, and he's not the best cook. I guess ramen noodles it is. Yeah, I don't mind him that much. Kind of getting used to that since Dad's cooking so terrible. I have a chore chart for each of you to do. It's going to take you a long time, so I suggest you get started immediately after eating your noodles. I don't do chores. I am baby. You will do chores. All of you will do chores. Every single chore. <gasps> Dad, are you feeling okay? Usually when mom's out on a work trip or a girl vacation or something, we eat pizza and then we watch our favorite tv shows dad that's what we love so much about you being home instead of mom you don't even say anything about chores well times are changing get with the program kid um okay um uh we're just gonna go wash our hands for dinner daisy psst, come here i don't buy the big carry baby Kira, shh. I have to tell you and Daisy something really important. Why is it, Molly? I couldn't keep it secret. Hey, baby Kira, you're not the best at keeping secrets. We're in here. We're in here, Daisy. We're in here. What is it, Molly? What's wrong? Dad is what's wrong. He's acting really weird and really strict. Yeah, I noticed that too. Something happened to him when he was at the, s the salon having his hair done. 
You mean besides the fact that they shaved his head bald? Yeah, besides that, maybe they took some of his brain with it. Yeah, could be. Are you guys starting on those chores? Whoa, who is this guy? Well, it's obviously Star, our dad, but I don't know. Something must have happened to him. And I think we should spy to find out. I like to spy! I'm good at spying! Baby Kira, shh! You're also loud and not very good at keeping secrets. Okay, I'm the bravest one of the three of us. That's because you don't mind getting in trouble, Molly. Uh, yeah, I have had a lot of detentions. But anyway, I'm gonna, um, film Dad and see what he's doing right now. Maybe we can prove to everyone in town that our dad is weird and strict and gone crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's so sad, but at least we could send it to Mom. Maybe she'll come home early. Or to Brookie and she'll let us spend the night. Or to the police and then they'll come rescue us and they'll, they'll adopt us and arrest us. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but anyway, I'm gonna go see what Dad is doing. God, I'm kind of afraid right now, because this Dad seems like he's definitely gonna give me uh, some sort of timeout forever. Ow! All right, guys, I'm gonna Snapchat this, because I just wanna see what Dad is doing. If it's something crazy, I definitely wanna get it on film. What is he doing? He's <laughs> literally just sitting on the couch and there's no TV on or anything. What's he doing? Oh my God, I think it might be turning around. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What is it, Molly, what'd you find out? He was just sitting there staring at the blank TV screen, not doing anything. And then he like consents I was Snapchatting him and, and recording him. I see, but I'm not doing anything, Bob. Um, I'm going to the bathroom. Um, uh, uh, I'm laying down. I mean, I'm vacuuming. What's going on here? Oh, you're doing your chores. I could have swore you were Snapchat. Me? <laughs> What's Snapchat? I don't even know what that is. Right. Get back to your chores. Okay, weird strict dad. What? <gasps> Nothing. Oh, coast is clear, Daisy. That's good, because I was about to have to clean the toilet. And there's a poo-poo in there. What? I don't see a poo-poo. What are you talking about, Molly? Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> ah! Ew! <laughs> Dad must have had a bean burrito for lunch. Gross. Yeah. Baby Kira, I think it'd be better if you just went to sleep. <laughs> well, I guess my wish was coming true, because she's sleeping right now. That's better for her. We need to get to the bottom of this weird strip dad thing. And she can't blow our cover. Yeah, exactly. Let's go spy on him and see what he's doing again. We can take another Snapchat and share it to everybody in town. Something definitely is happening to our dad. Okay, Molly. I'll Snapchat this one and send it to you. Okay. I'm going in. Where is he? Oh. What the hell? What's he eating? Oh. It's disgusting. It's like pureed broccoli on a piece of moldy bread. Ew. Yeah. Daddy, don't let him know we're here. We want the evidence that he's turned into a weird street dad. <laughs> ah! oh, his, 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 his head! It just spun around backwards! Huh? What? Who's there? You better be doing your chores. Okay, we gotta, we gotta, okay I'm gonna find the vacuum and uh, we're gonna leave it on. Oh, I leave it in the bathroom. No, that was just where the giant poo poo was. Where did I leave the vacuum? <laughs> okay, I made it just in time. Oh, Daisy sent me a snap. <sighs> I made it just in time. Oh, Daisy sent me a snap. Oh my god, guys, look at this. Daisy caught the weird strict dad with his head turning around backwards. Uh, Molly, I think we should probably get in bed. The wheel strip dad is coming, and he doesn't look too happy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I just have to, like, pretend I'm sleeping. Molly, you're in my room. He won't know. He's a weird strict dad. He's still a dad, Molly. Something definitely happened to him. And I think after he falls asleep tonight, we should sneak out in town and figure it out. Good. You're in bed. No talking. No, even breathing. <laughs> kind of weird. Well, Molly, I don't know who that is, but it's not our dad anymore. Yeah, it's definitely the weird strict dad. Come on, 
I'm going to peek out and see if he's out there. Okay, so far the coast is clear. Okay, let's go get baby Kira. Baby Kira. Baby Kira. Wake up. Maybe we have to leave. Oh, yeah, right. I'm not leaving my baby sister with that crazy guy. Okay, baby Kira, I'm going to pick you up. Come on. I die. Why are you wake up at all? Because this guy is not our dad. He's a weird, strict dad. Or maybe our dad is possessed or something. I don't know. We have to go into town and find out what we can about this crazy salon. Now be quiet, baby Kira. <laughs> baby Kira, now's not the time to poop your diaper. Sorry, I could help it. What? What's that smell? Ah! He smelled her poopy diaper! Okay, okay. Um, wait. I gotta take baby Kira back to her crib. Oh, he's coming! He's coming! Buddy, I'm gonna soak it cold, homie! Okay, I'm just gonna sit in the car with you, baby Kira. What? What's going on here? Why are you sleeping in the baby's crib? Um, because the baby needed a diaper change and she was kind of crying, so I didn't want to bother you, Dad, so I just took care of it. Fine. As long as you're in your beds. Now go to sleep. Whoa, baby Kira, that was a close one. Come on, we have to get out of here. Buddy, the coast is clear. Come on. Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Oh my gosh, he's so far on his phone. Okay, okay, let's sneak out the back. Slot. <laughs> Where do you think you two are going? Um, uh, uh, Miley, come up with a good excuse. You're good for excuses. I mean, that's what you use every time you don't do your homework. Busted. You're stuck with me. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> what? What's this? It's the police. I caught them. You're being crazy. You have to go to jail. What? Um, uh, 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 yeah, that's right. You're going to jail. Ha ha ha. We Snapchatted the whole thing, weird strict dad. Buddy, that's still our dad. No, it's not. He's possessed by something crazy. Oh, uh, I'm not going to jail. I'm just going to run away. What? Wait, wait. <coughs> but, but, ah, uh, ha ha, the door is locked. You can't get out. I locked the store. Of course I can. Where'd I put the key? There it is. <coughs> Bye. Well, um, I don't know what we should do now. We should definitely find out what happened to our dad. Come on. Hey, guys, it's me, Molly, and I'm holding my baby sister, baby Kira. Something really crazy is going on. Our dad came to this salon to get a haircut. He came home bald, for one, and his skin is, like, bright yellow, for two. And for three, he's acting like this weird, strict dad. I don't know what's happening. Molly, I've been inside the salon, and, and, and there's a sign in here. What's the sign say? Moved to Blacksburg. Wait, what? Moved to Blacksburg? But now we won't get any answers. I think we might be stuck with the weird strict dad forever. Well, he did run away, so maybe not. Maybe we're going to be abandoned. We're going to need a new dad. Uh-oh. Hello, Molly. Who is this evil salon shop owner that changed our dad? And where did weird strict dad actually go? Welcome to the Weird Strict Dad Club, where you can hang out at the beach all day, eat ice cream, and not deal with any annoying kids. <laughs> it's good to be in the Weird Strict Dad Club. <laughs> all for the price of a dollar ninety nine. <laughs>
I don't like going to the dentist. Someone is always like sticking their hand in your mouth and... Yeah, that's part of going to the dentist. They check your teeth. I hate it. I'm not going. I've got to study for my science quiz in, in study hall today. Sorry, girls, but you've had this appointment for like a month. I just haven't told you because neither one of you would want to go. Now, hop to, get dressed. We don't want to be late. Ugh, Mom! I'm going back to bed. Molly, get out of bed. Unless you'd like to be grounded from Brookie for a week. What? No, I'm out of bed. I'm out of bed. Oh, no. I hate going to the dentist. Come on, Molly. We're going to be late. I'm coming. I'm coming. I couldn't find my other shoe. Molly, if you just put them back in the closet, you would know where they were. You'd think that you were my second mom, the way you boss me around. Whoa, both of you girls are pretty grumpy about having to go to the dentist. It's going to be fine, I promise. Well, it sure beats going to school, that's for sure. All right, girls, we're here. Yay! Molly, I feel like you were honest with that yay. Totally was not. I don't want to. Molly, we're already here. Just go inside and wait in the waiting room. Seriously? Dr. Molo and Dr. Payne? I hope I get Dr. Molo. Yeah, Dr. Payne's name is basically exactly how he is. Ouch, ouch, ow! One time I almost bit his finger. What? Molly? <laughs> Not even kidding. He just was like, ow. He was like pulling my cheek kind of funny. And then he like grabbed my tongue to look at it. And it hurt. And I I don't know. My, my, my teeth just wanted to come down and chomp on him. Well, good morning, girls. I'm Dr. Moeller. Who's going first? She is. No, she is. Uh -oh. Actually, I have Daisy on my clipboard first. So, Daisy, you're up. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. Good luck, Daisy. So, Daisy, how are you doing? I'm okay, except for I'm at the dentist, and I don't like being here. No offense or anything. No offense taken. I'm um, just going to take a quick peek inside your mouth at your teeth. I don't like anybody's fingers in my mouth. It's weird and I don't like it. I know. I'm just going to look in there with a the light. Okay, can you say ah? Ah. Very good. I'm going to be very gentle when I examine your teeth. Okay? Okay. I guess I, you seem pretty nice, Dr. Molo. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh-huh. It looks like you're doing a great job brushing and flossing. How many times a day are you brushing and flossing? I brush in the morning after breakfast and floss. And then I can't really brush when I'm at school. Um, but I brush at night before bed and floss. Wow, that's great. Okay, well, you don't have any cavities, so you are done with your appointment. Really? That was quick and easy. Yeah, no cleaning this time, but I expect you to be back in a few months for your cleaning, okay? Sure thing, no problem. So Daisy, did you get your teeth clean? No, she said next time. That's just her way of getting you used to being here at the dentist's office. Next time, she's definitely going to clean your teeth. It's okay, I trust Dr. Molo. Okay, Molly, you're next. So Molly, have you been brushing and flossing? Yeah, because I don't want to have cavities. That stinks. Okay, Molly, just say, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Whoa, you're drooling a lot, Molly. Sorry. <laughs> My nose is kind of stuffy, so. That's okay, Molly. Here you go. I have a bib for the babies that come in. I'm not a baby. <laughs> it's all right. Anyway, ooh, um, hmm. Was that a good oo or a bad oo? Um, not really a good or a bad. Just a noticing that your teeth are a little crooked. <gasps> what? No, they're fine. My teeth are perfect. Actually, Molly, um, I'm going to recommend that you get braces. Say what? Braces? Nope, nope, nope. Pass. Hard pass on that one. Um, I don't think this is really an option, Molly, because your mom said if you need a braces, you should definitely get them. What? I don't want to. They might hurt. No, they won't hurt, Molly. And you'll look adorable in them. I have all different colors. Would you like pink, blue? What are you doing with that? That, 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 that tool. Uh-oh. Um, this is how I'm going to ratchet them on. Ratchet them. That sounds not very fun at all. I don't want to have them ratcheted on. It's okay, Molly. I just need to get my screwdriver and my drill and... No! No, 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 no. Molly, just trust me. I've been doing dentistry for so many years. I've done so many braces. 
Now, which color would you like? Huh, I guess purple. Awesome! Whoa, Molly, why does your face look so weird? Because it's still numb. Oh, no, did you have to have a shot of Novocaine? Sure did. Well, let me see your teeth. Did she clean them? No, I don't want you to see my teeth. What? Why not? Because they just look different, okay? Molly, come on, let me see. I don't need to show you my teeth, okay? <gasps> Molly, you got braces. Yeah, don't remind me. I like the little purple parts of it. They're really cute. You look adorable in braces. I, I do? Yeah, don't sweat it, Molly. You look so cute. You know, Daisy, sometimes you're the most annoying sister in the world. Uh, thanks? But what I mean to say is, sometimes you're also the world's best sister. Aww. Thanks for making me feel better. I was kind of embarrassed about having to get braces. Don't be embarrassed. You're taking good care of yourself by making your teeth look lovely and healthy. So, um, I think you should just get a purple, like, sweater to go with them. You look adorable for school tomorrow. Yeah, don't remind me I have school tomorrow with braces. <laughs> Hey, Molly, good morning. Hey, what's going on? What is going on with you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The dentist wired her mouth shut. <laughs> really, Molly, are you being serious? No, she's not. I'm not being serious about that. <laughs> Molly, seriously, are you going to open your mouth? No, I'm probably not. Okay, well... You don't have to talk to your friend ever again if you don't want to, Molly, but I think that's silly. All right, Molly, I'm going to tell you a funny joke, and then you're going to have to open your mouth and talk to me. It's making me feel like you're mad at me or something. What? No, I'm not mad at you. Well, here's the joke. What did the Dalmatian dog say after it had lunch? What did it say, Brookie? She's great at jokes. It said, that hit the spot. <laughs> oh, no. I can't laugh! I can't laugh! Ha 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 Molly! Whoa! You got braces! Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Brace face. What? What'd you call me? <laughs> Metal mouth, you look ugly. <gasps> what? What? I... I... Gosh, Molly, I'm so sorry that Sarah was bullying you. I guess I should be used to it by now, but I'm not. I feel very self-conscious about these braces, and she made fun of me the minute I walked to the door. I knew I shouldn't have laughed at that joke. Sorry I told it, Molly, but it was pretty funny, right? Yeah, but that's not the point. I Molly, don't pay attention to Sarah. She would tease you if you were perfect. And by the way, nobody's perfect. But I think your braces are so adorable. I love the little purple parts. Yeah, I haven't gotten a purple sweater to match it yet. Don't worry, we could go to the mall after school and pick out a perfect purple sweater to go with them. Really? You'd be seen with me with these braces? Are you kidding me? You are adorable in those braces, Molly. Now hold your head high and show Sarah that you don't care what she thinks. Thanks, Brookie. You're a good friend. Well, 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 who do we have here, Metal Mouth? Yeah, that's right, I am Metal Mouth and proud of it. Better watch out, because if you stick your finger at me too much, I might bite it off with these awesome metal teeth. Yeah, that's it. Whoa, Molly, that was kind of a stretch. But I'm just saying, I am awesome with my braces. You're gonna gonna keep me down. Not gonna keep me down. Love my braces, yeah. Not gonna keep me down. I'm cool. No matter what you say, I love braces, hey. Please just stop singing that awful song. Whatever. <gasps> well, Molly, I bought some Oreos for lunch. Maybe we could celebrate getting rid of Sarah. Ugh, I can't have Oreos. Braces. Well, chocolate ice cream it is then. I can eat that. Yep, I can eat that with braces. <laughs> Just can't let the bullies ever get you down. Whoa, Molly, your outfit for school looks so cool today.
today. Where'd you get that? Um, I saved up my allowance and I bought it from the mall. Wow, I actually really like it, which is surprising because usually your fashion is, well, so last season. Oh, don't sound like a, such a snob, Daisy. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Molly. You look great. Thanks, Daisy. Girls, would you like some pancakes or something for breakfast? Don't you know it. That sounds delicious, Mom. Mmm, I'm getting hungrier just thinking about it. Well, too bad. I All I have is waffles. Huh. Well, waffles will do. That sounds good, too. Wow, Molly's in a really good mood. It must be her new outfit. I know. Doesn't she look so cute in it? Yeah, I really do feel pretty in it. Thanks. Maybe you could do something different with your hair, too. Just for a change. Mm, that's delicious. Nah, my hair is good enough. I keep thinking that I want to do something different with mine. I mean, the pigtails are cute, but what else is out there? There's a whole world of hair that I've never explored before. <laughs> Daisy, you're so crazy when it comes to fashion. Oh, no, there's the bus. Oh, Molly, you're going to have to take your waffle to go. Nonsense. I can eat it super fast. Watch this. See? Told you I could eat it super fast. Lightning speed! <laughs> Molly, why are you sitting on top of this school bus? That's so dangerous. Well, why are you driving it? Because it's Bookhaven. Anything can happen here. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're actually early to school. That's what happens when I don't make the bus late. <laughs> My bad. Come on, let's get to English class. La 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 who wrote that on the board? Must be the principal. They just know I'm so cool. Wait a minute. Isn't this the room that they have detention in? Yeah. Weren't you in detention last night? Uh. Yes. You wrote that on the board so we don't see it this morning. Molly is awesome. Pfft, whatever. Whoa. Look at Charlotte's hair. If you didn't know, Charlotte is a new popular girl at my school. Sarah absolutely hates that she's so popular and beautiful but we just think she's nice and super cool hey guys good morning hey charlotte i love your purple hair it looks amazing with your makeup and your outfit i love it too i was just thinking i could do something cool like that with my hair don't even bother it's not that cool sarah you're just jealous because charlotte has beautiful purple hair and you don't I would never dye my hair purple. That's like the dumbest thing ever. That's not very nice. Yes, yeah, Sarah, that's not very nice, especially since she looks amazing. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm just ignoring the negativity. <laughs> that's what I do on social media, too. Whenever somebody says something mean on my TikTok, I'm like, whatever. You're such a keyboard troll. Yeah, exactly. Later that day. School's out forever. Well, not forever. Just till tomorrow, but I'll take it. Freedom! The smell of the air. The look of the sky when you don't have to go to school. Uh, Molly, I have to run to the store for a few things. I'll be home later. Really? Uh, could you make me up a chocolate bar? Sorry, Molly, can't. I have to spend my money on something else. Ugh, but I really want a chocolate bar. Dear Brookhaven game developer, why is there no CVS in this entire town? We people of Brookhaven need a drug store. Thankfully, Brookhaven Grocery Store does have hair dye. And I know exactly the color I'm going to pick. <laughs> a few hours later. <sighs> what a long day. I can't wait to eat this bean burrito as a snack. Mmm. Mmm. That's delicious. Leftover bean burritos from last night's dinner make the perfect after-school snack. I can't even talk. The, the, the smell of it is just... Mm, it's going to make me, like, pass out. It smells so good. Molly, you are so obsessed with bean burritos. Ay ay ay. Where have you been, Daisy? I told you I had to go to the store. Okay, well, um, I hope you got me a chocolate bar. I didn't. Ugh. You're the worst sister ever. Just kidding. You're a good sister. Just why can't you buy me things when I ask you to? Because I'm not your mother. <laughs> what will I look like with purple hair? I mean, I'm kind of afraid. I've had these pink tails and this color of hair since I was a baby. I don't know if I'm going to look weird. I, I, I'm getting cold feet. 
I'm not sure that I could do this. It just seems like, I don't know, it won't be me anymore. Get it together, Daisy! You can do this! You're a fashionista! You, you can be as cool as Charlotte, the most popular girl at school. Yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. I'll die it! Oh, well, I don't feel so good. Oh, why did I eat three, be three bean burritos? I could have just ate one, but no! My eyes were definitely bigger than my stomach. <laughs> oh, there, there, I feel better. Oh no! Nope! Gotta go! Gotta go, Poo Poo! Daisy, get out of the bathroom! I have to go! Sorry, Molly Occupy! Daisy! Seriously! I ate a bean burrito and I. <laughs> I have to go! <laughs> oh, Molly! No way, you're not poo-pooing in here. I gotta spend some time in here. That's gross. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll light a candle or something. Come on, open the door. Molly, I said I'm busy. Daisy! Molly, get out! Daisy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Molly! What? I have to go! Ay, ay, ay. Hurry up, I've got things to do. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be here a minute. Ugh. Every time I promise myself... I won't eat any more bean burritos. This is exactly what happens. And every time, I do it again. And again and again. Ooh, 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 ow. Dear God, I promise I'll never eat a bean burrito again. J just make my stomach stop feeling like it's going to explode. Molly, are you done in there yet? Did you eat another three bean burritos? Yes. And I'm being in real trouble for it. <sighs> okay. I think I'm done. Nope, not done. Hmm, that took a lot of work. Maybe I should go eat that last bean burrito. Molly, what are you doing? I'm gonna go eat a bean burrito. I'm hungry. Molly, don't you dare eat another bean burrito. What are you doing, Daisy? I'm gonna dye my hair. What, purple? Yeah, but I'm afraid. I feel like everyone would tease me. Well, they might. Molly, thanks for the vote of confidence. But... Since you're afraid to do it alone, I'll dye mine purple too. Really? You do that for me? Of course, we're sisters. And even though I find you super duper uber annoying. Molly. Well, I do. You're still my sister. I love you. And you're one of my bestest friends. Aw, ditto, Molly. You're my best friend too. Well, besides Brookie. Yeah, besides Brookie. But anyway, we can dye our hair purple together and walk into school together. Wow, Molly. This means a lot to me. Thank you. You're probably going to need a mask and some um, stuff on your hands so it doesn't dye your hands purple. Why? You don't want your hands to match your hair? That'd be so cool. Trust me, Molly. This dye would never come off. Okay, well, let's do this. Uh, maybe we ought to wait a half an hour. It kind of stinks in here. Ew, Molly! <laughs> Just enough time to eat another bean burrito. Don't even think about it. Well, Daisy, are you ready for this? The big purple hair reveal? I don't know, Molly. I'm kind of nervous. Don't worry. We're cool as anything. We're like cool as Charlotte even. I mean, we have purple hair now too. Yeah, but what if people tease us? Don't be ridiculous, Daisy. You look amazing. Come on. What is going on here? We have purple hair. Okay, you got my attention for like one second, losers. Ugh, you look ridiculous. You're gonna be the laughing stock of the school. <laughs> what? I, I thought I looked good. Daisy, don't listen to her. She's going to in infect you with her evil words. Stop talking to us this way, Sarah. It's not nice. You look like a grape head. What's a grape head? What is that even? It's like the grapes you get at the store, only on your head. <laughs> Sarah! That was rude! Get out of my way, grape head. I don't want to be late for class. Ugh, Sarah! Good morning, Molly! Whoa, your hair! It looks amazing! Wait, what's wrong? Why does your face look so angry? Because I am so angry! At me? What did I do? No, not you, Perky. Sorry, I didn't mean to, to seem like I was angry at you. I'm just angry because... <sighs> Daisy in the bathroom crying right now. She's so sad and hurt. Really? Why? Because Sarah teased us about our hair. I wasn't even going to dye my hair this color. I just did to support Daisy because she was so nervous when she came to school that everyone was going to tease her and her worst nightmare came true. Whoa, that's not okay, Molly. Not okay at all. Well... 
What am I going to do about it? I mean, it's Sarah. Don't worry, Molly. I'm going to help my BFF out. Definitely. Really? Of course, Molly. Don't worry about it. I'll make sure that it's all handled. So much on the agenda. So many school board meetings. Ugh. Ugh. When is it going to be the weekend? Excuse me, um, principal? Yes, Brookie, what can I do for you, honey? Um, I have to talk to you. I need to report some bullying. What? Someone is bullying in our school? Yes, and I'm sorry to report, but it's really bad. Oh my gosh, this sounds terrible. Tell me what's going on so I can report it. You mean record it? I mean, I'm reporting it to you and you're the principal. Who will you report it to? Oh yeah, <laughs> right, I'm recording it. Sorry, I haven't had my morning coffee. No problem, principal. You see, my friends Molly and Daisy, they dyed their hair purple. Daisy was very nervous about coming to school and getting teased, but she wanted to dye it. And when Sarah saw them, she called Daisy ugly. And when they asked her to stop, she wouldn't stop. What? This is a serious bullying offense. I will speak to Sarah and handle this. Thank you for coming and reporting this so I could record it on her record. Um, thank you, Principal, for helping me and my friends. I'm always here for you. Never forget that. Students can always come to me if they have a problem. Thank you, Principal. Have a great day, Brookie. You too. Hope you get some coffee. Attention, attention. Will Sarah please report to the Principal's office? Sarah to the Principal's office. Ah, oh, now I have to put this record into Sarah's permanent record. This is not good. What do you want? Well, first of all, a better attitude would be wonderful. But I can't ask for too much, I guess. Second of all, were you bullying Molly and Daisy Acker about their purple hair? Well, yeah, it looks lame. So you admit that you were actually bullying them. Uh, I didn't think it was bullying. It was just telling the truth. Sarah, sometimes you are telling the truth is rude and bullying. And I have no choice but to give you detention for a week. Wait, what? Yeah, detention for an entire week. I hope this makes you think twice about bullying your classmates. This is so unfair. Well, don't bully and you won't get detention. And I am making a note of this on your permanent school record. Oh, seriously? My dad's going to have a fit. He's not even going to let me drive the Ferrari to school. Well, he'll probably ground you. And you may deserve it, right? Because you were bullying? Fine. Now go back to class and try to have a good day. And I'll try to do the same. Ah, where's my coffee? Oh, look, there's purple-haired Daisy. I'd hold your tongue, Sarah, unless you want another week of detention. Uh, it looks great. Really? You think so? Sarah. Um, it, it, uh, okay, I'm just gonna do my homework. Um, okay, yeah, me too. Thanks for not bullying me for a change. I'm so glad that I could help my friends. Club Brooks is open to 2 a.m. tonight? That's awesome! Dan, I'm home! Are you ready for our date night? <laughs> this cat show is my favorite! I know, right, Dad? It's awesome! Look at you two couch potatoes! Aren't you guys gonna get up and do anything tonight? Um, I was just thinking we could have date night here, like chilling on the couch, watching this favorite cat show of mine. Absolutely not! We're going out to Club Brooks! Oh, man, great, I'm home alone. Wait a minute, what happened to Daisy? Honey, I told you this morning, Daisy had a camp out with all of her friends. Well, why didn't Molly go? I don't like camping. I don't know, it's just like, I think about like all those bugs in the tent and... Seriously, you don't like camping? Actually, uh, not really that much. And also I was thinking, ah, being home alone while you guys have date nights sounds pretty awesome to me. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, Molly, but, um, you have a babysitter. Wait, what? A babysitter? I, I, I wasn't expecting a babysitter. I kind of would have went camping if I had known I was going to have a babysitter. Besides, I don't even need one. I'm old enough now. Sorry, Molly, but we just have to have someone come and hang out with you just to be sure you don't get into any mischief. Me? Get into mischief? Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Yeah, very funny, Molly. You getting into mischief. Who would have thought? 
Like, I think about it every single day. Okay, maybe I get into a little mischief, but it, it's not that much, right? Um, slam the like button if you're watching this video and you think Molly gets into mischief. Uh-oh. Everybody's slamming the like button. Um, guys, you're supposed to be on my side. Yeah, no, they know you're a mischief maker. Okay, Molly, well, you have a great night. Mom and I are going to live it up at Club Brooks. Okay, Molly, um, call me on myself. You need anything, okay? Ugh, <sighs> fine. That's all right. I'll, I'll just watch my show and ignore this babysitter. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Look at that cat. It's like, <laughs> Super funny. Hello? Is anyone home? Huh? What? No, no one's home. Go to the next house. I don't need a babysitter. Ugh, you little brat. You're not watching any TV on my watch. Did you just call me a little brat? That's right, brat. You're not watching any TV. But, but, but it's Friday night. I always watch cool shows on TV on Friday night and just chill out. I don't think so. Get off the couch. What? This is in your house. You can't boss me around. Actually, I'm the babysitter, so I totally can. Now, get up. Wow. Rude. Here, why don't you do some cleaning? No, you're the babysitter. If, if anyone does cleaning, it's you. My parents pay you money, you know. I don't care. Here's the broom. Oh, man, I don't, I don't want to. I don't care what you want. You're not in charge. I am. Now, be quiet while I watch TV. And get out of the way. I can't see anything. Oh, my gosh. This, this babysitter is just, it's just mean. Oh, I wish my mom and dad were here. I would tell on her. It's okay. I'll just go have a snack. Like she won't know. She probably won't even want to feed me something real for dinner. What could I have? What are you doing? Don't drink that. That's mine. What? No, it's not. My mom bought it for me and my sister. Well, when I'm here, everything is mine. Now give it to me. Um, no. Yes, give it to me now, or I'm gonna ground you for the rest of the night. Okay, fine. I already drank off of it. I don't care. I just want it all. Glug, 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 glug. Why are you gonna feed me dinner? Because I'm hungry. What do I look like? You're made? Make yourself something to eat. Or better yet, don't eat anything at all. Um, okay. Uh, alright. I'm, I'm not that hungry. Holy guacamole. This babysitter's so evil. She doesn't know about our secret elevator. I'll just go upstairs and hide in my room. Huh. What a crazy lady she is. Where are you? Oh my gosh, guys. I've got to hide. But first I have to eat this donut really fast. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, where should I hide? Where should I hide? I know. I'll just hide right here by the bed. She'll never find me there. <laughs> If you don't tell me where you are right now, I'm going to call the police. Hello? Yeah, call the police. Then I'll tell them you're the rudest babysitter ever. What? I just heard you. Are you over here? I knew it. What are you doing? I fell off the bed. Ah! I don't care and I don't believe you. Seriously? You don't care if I fell off the bed? But I'm laying on the floor and like... Ah! I don't really. Seriously. Now, get up, please. Oh, man. Why are you crying? Because I just... I never met somebody so mean before. <laughs> if you don't stop crying, I'm going to make you do more chores. And I'm also going to ground you. You're the biggest... You're the most evilest babysitter ever. Yeah, I've been told that before. <laughs> I take pride in being the most evil babysitter on the planet. <laughs> well, you're really good at it. <laughs> Stop crying. I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay. I've had 30 more seconds to cry. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, I changed my mind. Stop it right now. Okay. Maybe if I have some candy or something, I'll feel better. Ooh, Doritos. That'll make it better. <laughs> Stop eating that. You're not supposed to eat that. Why? why? I, I want to eat it. Stop eating it. Give me that. It looks delicious and I want to eat it. Oh my gosh, you're taking all my snacks. You really are rude. Ew, what was that? Um, there's 
a mouse that lives under the bed. That was not. You farted. Okay, I have to use the bathroom. You need to ask me permission before you do anything. Um. <laughs> can I use the bathroom? <laughs> oh, just go. <laughs> I was just faking it. <laughs> Now, I have some privacy so I can call my mom and tell her how evil this babysitter is and that she can come home any minute. Come on, Mom! Pick up! Pick up the phone! Oh, she's probably having a great time dancing at Club Brooks. Mom, pick up the phone! Okay, I'm gonna redial her. Hello? Mom! I, I need to talk to you. I have an emergency. What? What, what is it, Molly? Mom, this babysitter is evil. Molly, don't be dramatic. I'm sure she's fine. I'm sorry you have to have a babysitter. You won't have to have one forever. No, Mom, seriously. Please come home. Seriously, Molly? Is everything okay? No, I need you to come home. Okay, we'll be right home, Molly. Where are you? Hey, what are you doing on your cell phone? Um... Nothing. I was just seeing if I had any homework. I, I called my friend to see. No calling friends. No calling anyone. Now, come on. I have more chores for you to do. Okay. Yeah, I'll do all the chores. You will? That's a better attitude. Where are you going? You have to go this way. Duh. Boy, I'm pretty silly. Even though this is your house, you don't even know where you're going. Now, get the broom out and get working. Okay. I'm I'm working. Good. <laughs> See, your Friday night totally stinks, doesn't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> Molly? What's going on here? Hey, are you making her do chores and being rude and evil to her? Yeah, Mom, she is. <laughs> well, if you don't like my method of babysitting, you don't have to hire me again, but you still owe me 200 bucks. 200 bucks? You must be Looney Tunes! I wouldn't pay a babysitter $200 for an hour! <laughs> Especially not a bad babysitter. I'm not a bad babysitter, I'm just strict. Okay, what did you feed my daughter for dinner? She didn't feed me anything! Is this true? Uh, yeah, I mean, she doesn't need to eat, does she? Uh, yeah, she does. What, what else did you have her do? chores and then she had told me i'd ask permission to go to the bathroom you're a horrible babysitter i'm giving you a one star review on on google sarah is a bad evil babysitter what do you think of that whatever it's not like i like this job anyway i'm gonna get a job at the car wash car wash man i feel sorry for those cars here's your broom back uh you can keep it <laughs> i don't clean houses Get out of our house, evil babysitter, right now! Whatever. My $200. Yeah, right, you're not getting 200 bucks from me. Cheapers, Molly, I'm sorry that babysitter was so evil. It's okay, I I'm just glad you guys could come home. Come on, Molly, let's watch your favorite cat show, all together. Huh, I'm so glad you guys are home, seriously. What an evil babysitter. Yeah, you can say that again. <laughs> Now, finally, I get to watch my favorite show. Wait a minute! It's not on!